Yo, what's going on, y'all? What's up, what's up, what's up? Let me know if y'all can hear me clearly. Phone just died while I was watching the game. Um, man, I don't, man, I don't want Tom Brady to go to another Super Bowl, man. I'm, I'm upset that they, the Packers was down and they, and the defense was slacking. Why can I hear myself though? Is there an echo? Hold on. Oh, that's why I can hear myself. Um, yeah. Oh, it's third down. Okay. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Um, so yeah, it's it's Sunday. The game's on. I'm trying to focus on Weapon Wheel and watch the rest of this game because I really don't want Tom Brady to go to a, another Super Bowl. Listen, Tom Brady, it's just boring with Tom Brady, man. Listen, and, and Tom Brady's Super Bowls aren't necessarily boring. Like, but he's boring and he and and his teams are boring, right? I, like any Tom Brady Super Bowl that's ever been excited, it's not because of Tom Brady and the team he's on. It's because of the team he's playing against who always make it make it exciting. So I don't want or I want the Packers and the Bills, bro. Get up! Oh, did no flag? No flag? No! Damn it! Damn it! I got to focus on the podcast. It's, 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 well, we're in a pre-show right now, so it's okay if I act like this. Oh, damn it, man. It's a flag. That was P.I. Damn it, man. This game, I think this game over. Damn it. I hate Tom Brady. I hate him. I hate him, man. Listen, man, I need, I need him, I need him. Man, see, the only thing worse than Tom Brady going to the Super Bowl is Tom Brady winning a Super Bowl. If he loses, it's it's Tom Brady losing in the Super Bowl is actually is actually better than him losing this round. I would say so. It the, him him going isn't the worst, but him him, win, him winning. Oh man, I just just throw everything out the window. Stop everything. Throw everything, bro. We don't want that. Oh man. Hey man. Tweet it out, let everybody know up and will podcast is going live. The views is probably gonna be a little bit lower than average tonight because you know everybody's watching the game and everything like that and of course nobody beats the nfl uh so yeah views are going to be a little low live at least to be expected usually how it is until the football season ends so you had to grab the jersey bro you have to grab the jersey Aaron Rodgers deserves another Super Bowl. He deserves another Super Bowl. This is a shame. What are they reviewing? So um, as far as the podcast goes, there's not going to be that much um, stuff we talk about. I got about, honestly, like maybe eight. I think I got about eight. Um Oh, didn't they put in the rule that you can uh, review pass interference because of that? What was that Vikings? Was it the Vikings game? Vikings game or the? Uh, I can't remember right now. Um, I can't remember. I'm because I'm trying to focus on y'all in the chat and and I'm switching back and forth between the game and I got the game sound muted, so I don't even know what they're reviewing right now. But yeah, there's not a lot of topics, and uh, Bond is not Bond claims he's not going to show up tonight. Uh, I don't know. But uh, because he'd be like, oh, I'm not going to show up because I got to do something. And then he'd be like coming on half an hour later. I don't know. Point is, Bond not being here, we might get out of here in time. It might be a swift show. There's really not that much to talk about. I got like I said, I got about eight topics. Eight. That's it. I think we're going to stay under two hours. We're 
I would bet we're going to be way under two hours, I think. Oh, man. Second. Uh, hit the like button, y'all. Would definitely appreciate that. You know, this is the new year, so in 2021, we we hit the like button to support the podcast. That's what that's what we do now. Okay, that's that's the move. That's the trend. That's the wave. So hit the like button. A hey, hey, Omega, bro. Um, you, you're 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 not the guy we that that should be talking about Resident Evil. You you clearly said you use cheats, and you like. Didn't you say you use cheats or you don't like Resident Evil because you can't shoot your problems away? Like you you can't solve all your problems with a gun. So you didn't like Resident Evil Two, and your favorite Re Resident Evil is Six, and you Platinum Six. Yes, sir. sir you're, you're you're not the one. You're you're not the one to be talking about this, sir. These topics. I'm sorry. This, this ain't the one, not the one for you. Oh man, game over, bro. Screw Tom Brady. Screw him. Aaron Rodgers deserves better. I can't wait till Brady retires. The NFL is going to be so much better without this bum. Every freaking, every Freaking, it's just so boring to see the same person in the Super Bowl again and again, bro. Such a lame. It's so boring, man. We want to see new people. And, it, and it's crazy because, like, I feel like I'm in a predicament because I want, I want the Bills to win, right? I want the Bills to beat the Chiefs. Right. But I but I feel like the Chiefs have a much better chance of beating. The Buccaneers in the Super Bowl. So now I'm not sure who I want to win, because more than I want the Bills to win, I want Tom Brady to lose in the Super Bowl. So I feel conflicted right now. I'm conflicted. I don't I don't know what I want to happen. I don't know what I want. Oh, man. Hate that man. DB, that that would DB, you you sound crazy, sir. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna give that uh that comment a legitimate answer. That King Kong and Godzilla trailer look fire, though. Looking forward to that. Sir, switching formats. Uh, so let me know in, in the chat if like the connection gets sketchy or anything tonight. Ooh, might be sketchy right now. Hold on. Well, I'm, why am I getting red? Getting a red connection. Hold on. Is the stream lagging for anybody? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, that's lag. Ugh, that's um, that's hold on. I think I gotta lower my bit rate. I can't wait for my. I got yeah. I, I just I just gotta lower my bit rate. Yo, uh, my internet connection low key trash. Um, I can't wait to move mainly because where I'm gonna move to, I don't have Verizon files on this block, so I gotta use Optimum Online with their trash upload speeds. They're freaking bum ass upload speeds, man. Uh, if you refresh, it's it should be better now. Yeah, I need that Verizon file so bad, bro. I would do unforgivable things for Verizon files right now, but when I move, um, I should have it. And my connection is still going up. Why is this thing so unstable right now, sir? Google Fiber, bro. Google Fiber is like barely even available anywhere. There's not a lot of places where that's actually available. I've checked. There's not a lot of places that actually even have Google Fiber. Uh, what game is this? This is one of the Doom games. Um, I'm honestly not sure which one. Because uh, I didn't really play them. And that's one reason I don't even live stream a lot, like live stream games right now, is because my connection is trash. And if you live stream on YouTube, you need to live, for it to look good, you have to live stream at a very high bit rate. Much higher than you live stream, you know, to Twitch. Because YouTube is a trash live streaming platform um so probably when i move i'm gonna have a better connection and that's when i'm gonna like live stream more consistent uh google google fiber is not available as far as i i'll check again but no as far as i saw it's maybe maybe somewhere in new york state <laughs> but it's not widespread across new york absolutely not i checked Oh, I definitely. Oh, the the, uh, the patron list. Hold on a second. Didn't mean to update that. Hold on. Uh, damn, y'all y'all caught me. Y'all caught me. Let me see if I can update that right now before the. Uh... Landry, are you talking? Okay. Ah oh, man, listen. I'm I'm just I'm just I'm just sad. You know, we got to watch another boring ass. Uh, Tom Brady Super Bowl, you, you know the vibes. Or he, he goaded, but he boring, dog. We don't want it. Boring, bro. Like, come on, dog. We ain't trying to see you again. Come on. Uh, it's Green Bay defense and and low key, bro. Aaron Rodgers had nothing but space and time in front of him. Why did he do that? I'm like, uh, he got scared. That man got scared, bro. He had. Yeah, I'm mad, bro. Um... I am upset. Yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, shoot. Oh boy. Um oh I think I know what. Um say something now. Now I can't hear you. Oh. Wait, say something. 
keep talking. On talking. H hello. Okay. All right. Now they should hear you. My bad, y'all. Uh, settings yeah. settings had reset. Um. Yeah, Jack. Jack was just saying. Uh, you know, he's a Tom Brady sympathizer, and uh, he's a lame. And uh, is that what I said? Blandrew was uh, saying something like, uh, I love Nintendo, Mario's the best, yada yada, something of the sort. That's the recap. Don't forget the praising Xbox. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He also said, I'm a fake Xbox fan. Um, you know, I, I act like I'm a part uh, of their family. You're cutting out for me, BG. Really? Wait, was BG cutting out for you yeah. too, Jack? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. I got green me. bars, yo. I got green bars on my ship. Ooh, I got yellow. I might have to bring the server back down to. Um, am I good now? Got am I okay? Talk. Am I Turn. okay? Test, testing, testing. Yeah. Yo. Yeah, you're okay. Okay, you ugly. Uh, let me know if it. Let me go. Let me know if it gets choppy again. Fucking tired, dog. God damn, man. You woke up like what three hours ago? Hey, man, I woke up. No, I woke up at um. I was watching Yu Yu Hakusho, man. That's not what I heard. Mm, I my heard, favorite of all time. I heard you was up till five in the morning in the Discord talking to men. That's what you spend your your time doing sir, five in the morning sir, talking sir, to men. Sir, I was up to three a.m. in the Discord talking to other men, sir. Watch oh, oh, wait, so oh I, I, wait, Jet. What's up? How you liking that Yu Yu Hakusho? I fuck with it. I, the the tournament's kind of long, but I mean. Other than that, I wish they had like more episodes where he was just like doing like normal shit type shit. But uh, okay, that that uh dark tournament is my favorite like arc in all of anime. So dark tournament is that the one I'm watching right now? Yeah, I'm saying the dark tournament that might be the one. The Taguro brothers or whatever. The fuck they mm -hmm. had. Yeah, that's a dark. Yeah, tournament. yeah, yeah. That's what I'm watching right now. Yep. Hey, yo, uh, patrons, I up, I um, I updated the list of patrons, so you should see your list. Um, you should see your name in the list scrolling now. It's I I, I put the new list in. Um, if you don't throughout the show, if you don't see it, then uh, you can beat me up. Uh, you know, DM me on Patreon or Twitter, and I'll, you know, I I I'll, I'll let you run my fade. All right. Uh, what up, slow mo? Oh, what up? What up? Your mic low. Oh, really? Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. I might have to invest in me one of those Xbox profile pictures. Who knows? <laughs> what do you mean know. by Xbox profile pictures? What do you mean by that? The, the one that Slow Mo got, like Slow Mo K. Yeah, they do kind of like one. Of them. Yeah, they do look like one. <laughs> D batch and all they those all guys. That, yeah, they all got that look to them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Rem you remember when uh, they all had the Scorpion in their name and the X's? Oh my God, yeah. that was the worst yeah. of times. I probably liked one of my tweets recently today. Before the podcast, they had all this shit in their names. I'm like, yeah, what the fuck? Mm, and the blue peas. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. The Can y'all hear me now? Yeah. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, I got my my profile picked done by uh, uh, what's his name, Graphic God. So I guess he... I guess that's why they all got that kind of look. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Yeah. What up, Mocha? Hello. Sad Sunday. Well, well, actually, see, here, here's 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 the thing, Jack. I'm I'm I don't know how I feel about who I want to win between the Bills and the Chiefs, right? Because I want the I like the Bills more, right? But I feel like yeah. the Chiefs have have a better chance of beating Tom Brady in the Super Bowl. Because one thing I cannot tolerate, right? Even though I want the Bills to win. Tom Brady winning another Super Bowl is way worse than the Bills losing to Yeah, I, I would listen to what you were saying, but the thing you got to realize, too, though, you know how you feel about Tom Brady right now, why this dude always in the Super Bowl, this shit. In about three more years, you're going to be saying the same shit about Patrick Mahomes, though. You know what I mean? Like, after but, Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes going to be doing the exact same shit, bro. And you know what? <laughs> I'm all right with that for a Jeez. while. For a Jeez. while. Because, bro, bro, I don't because, bro, like the tenth Super Bowl, bro, the tenth one, like I don't at least at, the at, yellow head bastard keep winning no fucking. <laughs> I, I, listen, I don't, I don't, 
really want to see his light skin ass every Super Bowl either. But yeah, man. we're we're at the very beginning of his of his career in in his in his long run. So you know, it's not it's not like the worst. In like ten years, I'm gonna be like, oh, here go this nigga Mahomes again. Like, but I don't feel that way right now. Don't you got jokes for Buffalo anyway? Laughing at me because I'm from Buffalo. Now you want to root for a Buffalo team? I, fu- I fuss with the Bills. I fuss with the Bills. Hmm. They're a great team. I, I, ain't, I ain't got no disrespect for them. Oh, you wait. You from Buffalo, but you moved to Arizona? Yeah. Did you do that? Did you just go? Did you just go to the map? It was like I'm gonna point out the most irrelevant areas. Like, <laughs> <laughs> most random. He spun the globe and like here. I mean, I wouldn't mind Arizona. Buffalo winning, but I don't know about Josh Allen in the Super Bowl. I mean, What's he, up? What's with Josh Allen? No, he can't. Uh, smooth sounding. Oh, shut already. up, smooth. <laughs> smooth I'm happy because his little daddy, his his little. That boy got a Tom Brady branded deal on his ass right now. His little <laughs> NFL daddy won a game. You hype? Shut up. Nobody cares. Smooth. You good, you good smooth? Man, I, I could have made so much money, but I I I, been, I was good. You know, share. I didn't. Should have, man. Should have made that. Should have been bond. That's crazy. That's crazy. I might do it in the Super Bowl, though. Yeah, do it in the Super Bowl so I can make sure he lose. I, <laughs> I would love that. Okay, we're gonna start the show on time. It's six thirty. Bond is not here tonight, so that means we're gonna get out of here on time. And yo, um, y'all can hear me, right? Y'all can hear me, yeah. Mike Chat. Yo, right. that? I was good. Too. Yo, yo, yo. So there's not going to be any Bond tales, no stories uh, about strippers or models and, you know, all this other stuff. We we ain't no, no extra you know, Xbox. You know, this, tape. Nigga Bond, this nigga Bond don't know no, like, no regular women. They always, like, mad, like, <laughs> foreign and Peruvian. All They're like, man, come on, man, with this shit, man. Of course, of course, yeah. There's not going to be any extra Xbox hate today. Just just the adequate amount of extra of Xbox hate, you know, because Bond always put extra sauce on it. So, start the show. Let's do these intros. Start start with our guest, Slow Mo. What's going on, man? Yo, what up, BG? What up, panel? What's up, chat? Slow Mo Backslot uh, from Scumcast, DPS Podcast, about five other podcasts I can't remember right now, but yeah. <laughs> uh, good to be a good show. Let's do it, man. All right. Uh, Mocha, how are you this Sunday? I am great. Um, happy New Year to y'all, because I wasn't here ne- uh, last week. So, February. yeah, <laughs> I wasn't here last week. So, Happy New Year, because I didn't see it yet. And yeah, I'm excited for this show. All right, smooth. What's up, everybody? It's the best bot. Happy to be here. Jack. Hello, everyone. I'm not happy to be here, but I'm here, though, all right? Let's get it. All right. Uh, Jimmy? Yo, what's up? J Mega Games, I'm here. All right. That's everybody, uh, I believe. And oh, Whoa! Blandrew. Blandrew, my bad. We not used to you being here. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on, everybody? Um, I'm finally back to making videos. I've been out of commission for, like, a year at this point, but I finally uploaded a video, my first Xbox video. If that interests you, go check out my channel. Working on a Xenoblade video right now. I want to have it finished by the end of the week. So subscribe to my channel for more content. I saw that right. video. I was going to ask you about that video, Blandrew. Did you you refer to yourself as uh, the Drewster in this video, correct? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Has anybody What's in your up? life ever actually called you that or you just you just talking at this point? Who the fuck That's you something I'm trying I'm trying to, you know, will into existence right now, but now nobody's trying to make it stick. So oh, are you trying to make it hot? Okay, okay. I'm going to Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, okay. Hey man, uh yeah. So everybody in the chat, what's up? Appreciate y'all showing up. Um, what's good, G four hundred? Uh, you know, I hope you staying safe, my brother. That man been hitting up stri- strip clubs all throughout COVID. He does not care. He been keeping them them strippers well paid. Okay, well paid. Shout out to you, bro. Stimulating the economy, Question. the stripper economy. Hmm? Question for Jack. Yes. Why are you always complaining? What are you talking about? You said you're not happy to be here, and you complain. I mean, you don't want to do nothing no more. You don't want to stream. I'm tired. You don't do nothing. You always tired. Yeah, I know. I, I'd rather be watching like you know sports, laying down, sleep. It's so many other things I could be doing right now. And then there's no topics. You know what I mean? If it was topics, I'd be happy. You know what I mean? He wants to ain't here the whole like team. Not here. You know, it don't feel right. Yeah. 
All Jack right. neglects his supporters. He neglects Absolutely. Them. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. He neglects <laughs> his supporters. I love all the viewers, man. I love y'all. <laughs> all right. All right. We're going to get right into the topics. Uh, first of all, first, hit that like button, please. Support the podcast. Uh, we're on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify. Uh, check out the Weapon World Patreon. You know, support the Patreon. You get some perks. You get access to the Discord. You get your name scrolling on our on our little uh, live template there. You get some uh, get some emotes. You know, chat badges. Uh, if you want to submit a video to be featured during the Weapon World podcast, just send me an email to Weapon Wheel uh, Weapon Wheel Press at Gmail dot com, and uh, you know, um, I'll send you the Google Drive link so you can. Uh, Send me that uh, that gameplay. All right. So um, first thing we gonna talk about is Hitman Three. Game released this mm. past past week. Um, it I believe right now on Metacritic it's at a, like an eighty seven or an eighty eight, higher than I predicted. You know I thought it might have been like an eighty two or something. I think. Uh, let me just give you all my thoughts on this game. Hitman is is boring. Hitman, th- <laughs> listen. Hitman ain't it. Hitman, Hitman Three is a skip. Let and let me explain. Right, oh, give me some time to it. Give me some time to explain. Right? Yeah, I think you, wait, you said I'm boring a, I, now, like it wasn't be, boring before. But I'm, see, right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I actually see. Look, I liked, I liked Hitman Absolution. Right, I liked Hitman Absolution. Right, I beat the game. That's the last Hitman I I beat. But I bought Hitman Hitman Two, played it, and it bored me because I'm like, yo, this is literally the same game from last time and you know sequels are somewhat samey but we you know there's usually some something added to the gameplay that makes the sequel a little bit different and doesn't feel that way now hitman 3 is here and it literally feels like hit still like hitman absolution which came out in 2011 so and let me just explain even more why i don't like i don't think hitman is a i don't think it's a very good stealth game right and let me let me tell you why. Hitman it, it it has is very basic mechanics and it like lacks a lot of the the abilities and mechanics that like other uh stealth games that I like, you know, that people that I would consider good like Metal Gear Solid, Tenchu, there's a Tenchu spiritual successor like Aragami, Splinter Cell, Dishonored, Thief, even like Deus Ex, uh Sticks Master of Shadows, I think like Saboteur that came out like two gens ago. Mm. Um, that that people said was good, good, and the reason I don't think it's a good, I don't, I don't, I, I would even go as far as to say Hitman is not even a stealth game. Hitman is a hide in plain sight, master of disguise game, because all the other games I named, the the purpose of those games is to not be seen, like at all, right? Hitman, all you're doing is like blending into a crowd, and like, Creed. yeah. And, and 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 the thing is like Assassin's Creed but the thing about that makes Assassin's Creed the early one still a good stealth game is because there were like traversal mechanics and other mechanics that still that still allow you to be stealthy and like infiltrate and, and get to areas where you weren't supposed to be Hitman has some sections like that but the whole entire Hitman game is just a hide in plain sight game it's 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 incognito mode in in a whole game that's all it is I got to disagree with this BG now, I haven't played Hitman since Absolution. Uh, I played all the ones before that, though. But look, right? This reboot, this new trilogy, one, two, and three. For lack of a better term, man, I know you say it feel a, you know samey, and then it was episodic at the same time. Low key, this shit all one game. If we being real, right? It's a reason you can boot up all the previous levels if you got Hitman three. It's all the same shit. It's just different levels, all right? The mm-hmm. thing about stealth is like. You can still consider you being, even if you're in plain sight, if nobody noticed that you wasn't supposed to be there and you in there killing motherfuckers, that's still stuff. You know what I mean? You, you technically get seen technically, right? So, exactly. So, what I'm saying is, I don't want to say you planned it the wrong way, but Hitman yeah. is more like shit where you got to, Hitman is meant to be replayed over and over and over. That's why this new game only six levels, right? You're supposed to replay it. You should, and it's a lot of trial and error type shit. Like, oh, okay, I'm gonna dress up like a fucking party clown right now. Go in through the side door. If that don't work, I right, when I replay. You know what I mean? You just go. You just it's trial and error. You go through it multiple times, saying what's the best route, what's the most efficient route, shit like that. So it ain't really no shit to worry. Let what me I mean? respond to that. I'm what's well up? aware, and and I've done that stuff. Like, especially like in Absolution, when when I played two a little bit, like 
I've done all of that where like, okay, they're in one level, you could maybe take out a target by finding the 50 caliber sniper rifle that's hidden in the nest somewhere, or you could poison him, or you could sabotage equipment and make a chandelier fall on him. I've done that stuff and it's still boring. It's like whether or not you do the straightforward route and you literally walk into this nigga's office and pull up and put a hollow tip in the back of this nigga head, or you make a chandelier fall on him. It, it's like all like not even satisfying to me. There's like you no just, like you difference don't like, to me. You just don't like the game is the thing. Nah, you I, know I, what it is. You know what? You know what it is. Let me say this real quick because I, I actually um used to be a huge fan of Hitman. The game, the game with this series focused more on stealth killing as a reward versus a penalty for playing it the way it used to be. You it used to have a balance where you could go crazy and just shoot everybody and kill and walk out, but you would get penalized. And this game, it focuses more on rewarding you for doing it as stealthy as possible. So say you play the game and you figure out a way to run it in, just kill a guy and run out. They're going to penalize you for that. So that's where the game gets replay value. It's supposed to be designed for you to master stealth completely. So the game is punishing you for not doing that. That's why there's a lot of people, right? That's why a lot of people actually kind of don't really talk about this, man, as much because it's the there's not a real balance anymore. It's just straight up. Look, stealth, kill this guy as creatively as you can, and you'll accomplish uh, the game's mastery. But if you don't do it that way, then it's like you're not really playing it. That's why, like, a lot of people started leaning away from Hitman, because you used to be able to, if you just wanted to go in there on some, as y'all say, unga bunga shit, you could kind of do that. Now you can't really do that. And if you figure out a way to do that, the game will penalize you for that. And, and let me let me say so one that's thing. that's what's making it boring. A lot of people are going like, "Oh man, I have to sit here for two hours and wait in this corner to literally get to this guy and follow him around the room, and I gotta wait here and wait there and wait there." And that's actually the way the game is rewarding and, you. And let me say let me say this because some people are gonna say BG don't like it because it's unga, unga bunga. I just named you like seven stealth games that I really like. What what I don't like about Hitman once again is the game is not about not like like for example Splinter Cell that game is designed it gives you the the tools and the abilities that you can go through an entire level and the goal is to not be seen by anyone right that that's the type of challenge i like how do i get from a to b kill everybody in my path and well, nobody like and, and, and nobody know and nobody knows i don't like in hitman okay there's a full crowd of people like and and honestly my, my target is like one person like i'm doing all this just like just to mainly get to one person. I like the challenge of going in an area, like not necessarily yeah. ha having to kill everybody, but going through the area and like getting through it without anybody knowing I was so there. Want, Hitman doesn't have that challenge. You want the gameplay to be less oh, varied. Then. I can't believe you say oh. it. It definitely has that challenge, though. It like, definitely does. Like the more you do that, the more it rewards you. That's the way it's designed. <laughs> be more simplified he just wanted to be how can i get back here without nobody seeing me as opposed to uh let me see what i can disguise myself as to get me further into that's not that's not fun though like the whole disguise okay like it's I not like, it's not that's not, why i like I Splinter. That. that's why i like splinter cell blacklist like splinter cell blacklist for example is not like this easy game stealthily where you could just go from oh, a to b it's like a puzzle in between it it's, it's a puzzle how to get from like past these guards from a to b right um, and they give you all the gadgets and the tools and all that stuff to do it. Hitman is Hitman just does doesn't have that challenge for me, and and for that reason, I just find it boring now. Hey, okay, so I brought in my guy Wanta, right? He he been playing Hitman. We was talking about it in the Discord. He finna lay out to BG why he he tripping right now. Right, Wanta, all right, let me hear this. Yeah, yeah. What's up? What's up, y'all? All right, right, all right. So, BG game, I, yo. This is the thing, because I just listened, heard what BG said, right? It doesn't have that challenge of getting from A to B without getting caught, right? These new Hitman games, specifically this trilogy, um, you get points based off of how you accomplish the mission. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways you get like some like the highest points possible is to get a Silent Assassin rating. To get Silent Assassin is basically what you're saying, BG. You have to go through the mission, uh, yeah. take out the targets, and literally not get caught by anybody. Okay. Don't get seen on cameras. Don't get. Uh, don't leave any uh, evidence Perfect. out. Perfectly undetected. Anymore. Perfectly yeah. undetected. Okay. Exactly. Let me real quick. Let me explain because I don't think y'all get what I'm saying. Okay. For in in blacklist. Okay. In in hitman. Right. There'll be civilians and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Right. Where you can be a you. They could see you. Even even the people that you're like. 
that you're going up against the enemies they can technically see you but they don't know yet that you're a that you're a threat yet right, right. i like right. stealth games in which the entire level is your enemy like blacklist splint when you play a, a splinter cell game for the most part the entire level if there's 50 people on that level the 50 guards if they they you are not supposed to be seen at all they're, the entire level is your enemy. I don't like that Hitman is like, oh, they, there's civilians and then there's enemies, but the enemies, you're not a threat to the enemies unless you get, go past this checkpoint. And then, but if you put the but if you put the disguise on, then you're then they won't detect you. I don't like all that. I, I want the whole level to be my enemy. Say, say the entire level is against you. Figure out a way to get past all these motherfuckers without any of them knowing you're there. That's what I like. Gonna give you immunity, neither though. They, people still realize like you ain't that person type shit, especially now. Yeah, they have enforcers, people who can still recognize you, whatever. Yeah, I, and I know that because yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, they have the higher level of uh, like guards that can see through your disguise. I still don't want that. I want the like I said, <laughs> I want the entire level to be against me, and and I have to figure out a way through, or it's not fun to me. Like I don't like this. Oh, yeah, I get, it's okay. just corny. So it's fatiguing. It's fatiguing. It's fatiguing. Yeah. I get so what I you say, like... but it, it's it's okay. Go go ahead, Mocha. I was going to say, um, I feel like people aren't understanding what he's trying to say. He's not saying that he doesn't know how to play the game and he doesn't understand, like, um, you know, how the game should be played. He just doesn't prefer it. I don't think either one is bad or that it mm-hmm. takes more skill to do one or the other. I feel like it's all up to preference, you know, whatever game play mm-hmm. style that you like the best. Um, I don't think it's that big of a deal. That's that's what I'm just, that's why I don't it like it. Sounds like it sounds like it's it's just you prefer a different type of stealth game. Yeah, Hitman, Hitman, even though Hitman is a stealth game, is different from like Splinter Cell but, or oh. like a Metal Gear type of stealth. It, it if you're a if you're a Hitman game. though, it's a difference between being a, a a Hitman and being an espionage spy. Mm-hmm. Being right. Right. If you're a right. Hitman, Hitman blend into their right. scenery exactly. And, Get rid of shit out, you know what I mean? That's why like, I don't. That's why I don't like it. I don't want to blend in. I I want like to be too much. Yeah, it's too much. For example, right? For example, right? This might be extreme, but you remember the motherfuckers that shot Malcolm X, right? Imagine if they came in there with some goddamn uh ski mask on and some all black uh fucking sweaters and shit. People are like, what the fuck going? Like, who are these dudes? They blended <laughs> in, mm-hmm. and when it was time to get the job done, they blasted this shit, right? Yeah. So like, that's that's a hit, man. That ain't no and, and, and not, exactly. And and and, and, w- and the game I want because I, I I hate that I'm using Malcolm X as a, as a target, but the game yeah. I want is to be Sam Fisher. He sneaks to the back of that auditorium in Harlem, right? And he he lowers himself through 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 the vent, and and and, and he shoots and he and he shoots Malcolm and he shoots Malcolm X in the back of the head with a silencer. Nobody even knew he was ever there. That's what oh, I. Oh, oh, we discover some BG one Unga Bunga stuff. That, that's hey, not, hey, Unga, that's that. but that's 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 true. True stealth <laughs> is is when nobody has ever even seen you. That's true stealth to me. This is altered. This is. This is fake news stealth. This is, this is uh, not it. Okay, you don't respect it. You don't respect it. I don't, it's not real stealth. It's not real stealth. It's fake stealth. I feel like I feel like they're both valid. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's all up to preference. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, we're not really getting anywhere. You feel like you understand the game, but you don't like it. But Jack is saying that you have no rights to say that you don't like it. I'm not when, saying that. When I'm just saying. I'm just saying, if you playing a game that you hit, man, it, it, they kind of come with the territory, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, he's saying that that's what the game is about, so you really can't call the game bad when, you know, you're 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 not liking what the essence of the game is. Okay, yes. yes. No, but he <laughs> made, he made, he made uh, Sam Fisher sound mad fake, though, when he said it. He wouldn't have to come down the vent. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, so but, that, oh, that's that my black, take. Black, that's why I don't have... like... That's why I don't like Hitman. So that's all I gotta say. I bought the game. I bought three and then refunded it in two hours. That that's it. Can, can you can you play the game like Uncharted? No, no, nah, no. Nah, nah. You don't get that freedom. Nah, really. like, they gonna whack your shit. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. This <laughs> this the thing. As soon as you do that, it it makes the mission like ten times harder for you to actually. And it penalizes the hell out of you. Yeah, it penalizes yeah, you so bad. Like, yeah, why you are you saying it like that? Pe- penalize. <laughs> <laughs> it's been bothering me. <laughs> he now dysfunction. That's all your mind. I'm about to say you thinking something else, ain't you? <laughs> um, any anybody else's thoughts? That hold on, did anybody in this room actually buy Hitman besides Wonton and actually like it? No, 
I didn't fell off. It's, not, it's, it's <laughs> all right to me. It's all right to me. The new Disney right. trilogy is really good. Um, it has a lot of replayability. Uh, and also, one thing I saw that people still are, uh, have a misconception about, it's not episodic anymore. Only the first game was episodic, and it didn't sell that well because second. of it. Um, well, I mean, you like mean Hitman 2? Yeah, Hitman 2. Yes. The one that came out in 2016. Yeah, that yeah that's the first episodic. one. That was the first one. That, that one was episodic, yeah. but all the ones since then have not been episodic. Okay. Mm. Um. So yeah, yeah, Hitman, it just just not it for me. Um, especially them stiff animations. The game just still feels like it's out of two two thousand ten. Um, and then there were you know there was the the fanboys. Um, I don't even watch these Digital Foundry. Um, compare. I, I watch Digital Foundry comparison videos for games that that I actually like. So I didn't even watch this one. I'm like, because people arguing over, you know, whether Hitman Three look better on PS5 or Xbox. I'm like, who cares? The game is boring. So what does it matter? You know, and, and like, I don't, I don't feel like people even buy Hitman like that. I don't think most of these dudes even playing Hitman, bro. So. Any You're not. Thoughts? It's just a, it's just that token game. Um, Ain't really nothing out to play. That's why. Yeah, yeah but like, it sucks because it, uh, when that game, it's still nothing to play because th- that game wasn't wasn't it. I was looking to <laughs> jump into it, but I kept thinking about, hmm, what am I gonna fill the first thirty minutes in? So, in a game is sixty beans. So I don't know if I can do that. Yeah, and you know, and, and, and it's clear they and build. It's, it's very short. Yeah, and it's Wait, clear they $60 build I un- for six missions. Wow, and- sixty dollars yeah, yeah. for six missions. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it's, 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 it, uh, those six missions you can replay way different ways, though, right? Yeah, yeah assume- you, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. If, look, if you find look- a game and you just play it through it one time, and you're not gonna try to, you know, uh, vary up your, pl- you don't, it, don't buy it. Like yeah. the game is about playing it over and improving your score, so that's like, yeah. Right, right. Oh, you get graded at the end? Yeah, no, that's, yeah, a, turn, yeah. that's a turn off for me. <laughs> but <laughs> any game that grades me make me feel like, I don't know, it's like it's something about it that reminds you know me of I know Devil May Cry does that, and it's just like, I'm like, yeah, no. Well, I was going to make fun of you, like smooth, but I, I agree with that. I agree with that. I feel like it would drive wait, me crazy. Why? Like, wait, why? Wait, 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 wait. Why is that such a problem? It's stress. I mean, I play games where they give you a grade at the end, but it is stressful at the end because, because, because first of all, that grading system, if you really care about that shit, is gonna, it's really gonna alter the way you play. You're not gonna it play the way. Crazy. Yeah, you yeah. be in the back of your mind the whole fucking time. If I do this, they gonna lower my grade. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so is this great? I don't know. You, usually, in, in the games that I play, the game like a specific way, like you have yes. to. Yes. I mean, so like, I, I don't really like that either. Well, the thing about it, you have the freedom to play it any way you want, but it sort of gives you an incentive to do better because nah, you know, nah, the, the it's a mastery thing. Mission, it it, 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 like it makes you it makes you feel bad if you play it like unga bunga. You gotta yeah. like really try to achieve the goals because they, you know it it gives you scores and it helps you unlock stuff. It's, it's a lot of stealth games like that too, though. Like dishonors like that. You know, what I mean, you know, if you get yeah. spotted, like you fucked, you can't get a perfect rating. You know, what I mean, right, you know, like, right, right, the thing right. About right. Hitman that's cool is they have unlockables, so you can unlock items that can actually make missions easier for you if you were to replay them. Dishonored, right, exactly. Kind of the exactly. Like dishonored is ten times you know. a, a better a better stealth game than a uh, Hitman, though. Like it's not even close. By your definition, by your definition, yes, yes, it is. Absolutely, like you can you can literally like pull off. Uh, crazy combos with the mechanics um, they give you in Dishonored and literally never be seen like throughout the entire game. So, yeah. so you, and, and you just like pure stealth. Which is cool. Yeah, I, I like I like, I like pure, pure stealth. stealth. Yeah, I like pure stealth. Like, so if like, you're not the type of person that likes to play a game over and over, this game isn't for you, right? Yeah, wait, so, absolutely. Wait, wait, yeah, so you guys don't like arcade games or anything like that? I do. No, I like I like games where you score chase, but um. Not in stealth. Yeah, it would be a better time. And and the other thing I don't, I don't like, like right? I play games like Sonic. You know, no. But like, Sonic. What, why, you know why you say like, like that's a bad thing? <laughs> we know. We know. I like like the um the Hitman. Correct me if I'm wrong. Right that that tutorial. I understand like they use the last game or the one before as like the base. But do they give you the same tutorial for the last three games? Like that's what it felt like. 
Am I, am I tripping um, with that? Essentially, yeah. You, it's the same tutorial from the 2016 game. Um, that bothers me. Don't give me the same. Don't give me the same tutorial. Like I, 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 like you said, but no, that's your body. That's your body. That shit bothers me. Game. That's why you. Yeah, there's one game. Because that's, that's lazy. That's lazy as hell. That, that, yeah, that, yeah. Because like when, when 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 I turned it on, when I turned it on, and like when I I played the tutorial, and you know, because just to go through it, I'm like, yo, this is the same tutorial from the last game. Like it, it makes you feel you know, like you're playing Hitman Two. You know, you should look at this game really like two and three. You should look at it as like map packs, yeah, like sixty dollar map packs. That's how you. That's should really look at what it is. Yeah, it's, packs it's, or assassin maps. packs. Yeah. You yeah. Maps and the updating graphics. That's really what it is. Yeah, because don't they carry over all the other maps from the previous? Yeah, game? everything carries yeah. over. Yeah. Um, if you don't have the first two games, you can literally buy them and it'll carry over. Yeah, it, it, it asks um, you, know, you if add, you like, want to load like data from and, two and new items and stuff. But for the most part, it's just like uh, map packs. <laughs> um. All right. <laughs> We could uh, move on. You know, I don't want to spend too much time talking about a fake stealth game. Um, wow. What's on to the... <laughs> called it fake stuff. That's crazy. You're just guy. It's, it's, it's real stealth, but okay. Hey, 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 just, just, just know I'm the first one to say it. Fake stealth. I called it. All right. So if anybody starts that narrative, you, you know, you know who who That's said who it I first. Fake stealth. fake stealth, bro. Ah, right. uh, man, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Next topic. Uh, Resident, the Resident Evil Village Showcase uh, happened this week. It, it could have been an email because it wasn't that long and they didn't not, honestly didn't give us that much. Um, but they showed off a little bit of Resident Evil minutes. Village. Yeah. And uh, showed off some Resident Evil Village and a demo dropped on PlayStation 5 and they showed that trash as uh, RE verse multiplayer. But first I want to talk about the demo. Let's, you know, give your, everybody give their opinion on the demo that, uh, we got let me give y'all my opinion first um y'all know i wasn't the biggest fan of resident evil 7 i believe third person is always the better view that's always the the better viewpoint everything is better in third person but if i do you know judge the game for being you know re7 for being first person even you know i, I don't think that game is great i don't think i don't it's it's not a great resident evil game it's 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 not it's not even a great like I don't think it's a great game in general. Because hold on, hold on. It's, not, first of all, it's not Resident hold Evil. Hold Resident Evil Seven is not Resident Evil. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all gotta stop the cap real quick. So bro, re said... bro, Resident Evil. Like, okay, how do we judge? No, Resident that's not Evil Resident 7? Evil at do, all. Do, bro. Do, do Resident we... Evil Seven is not a Resident Evil Seven is not a bad game. Yeah. It's not bad. It's I not like it. It's not bad, but it's not Resident Evil. I mean, y'all y'all do y'all do know it. That was first first Resident Evil games before Seven. Y'all do know that, right? Okay. What's your point? Did, did, did y'all know that? Okay, yeah. let me tell you why. Let me tell you why I, I didn't like. Nah, I didn't school me, please. Yeah, I'm sorry. what was it called Dead Aim or some shit? Yeah, they had like some online PS2 games. They had some first person games. Wasn't that that? Yeah, don't Rails. Rails. Act like, acting like y'all know that shit, bro. Yeah, yeah the Leon know, Kennedy one, the Leon Kennedy joint. Yeah. A anyway, that's the first main game. First person. My problem, oh, those are the arcade ones. No, no, they were no, Wii no, games. No. Were for Wii? Yeah, one was for PS2, one was PS2, and some for Wii. So, I liked Resident Evil 7. And even though it was first person, I feel like they did it a good job on it. Like they did it well. And I, I agree. But I agree with you. But it's still not Resident Evil though. Yeah. The, the I agree problem with you. the problem I have with Resident Evil 7 is it's 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 not a great like first person shooter. I know it's a horror game, right? But the first person isn't 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 necessarily great as like a shooting, you know, mechanic, right? You you are killing like the same enemy i believe it was throughout the whole game the story is forgettable i honestly don't remember anything from that story i know you're this dude named ethan hawk what is not ethan winters whatever um ethan hawk, is an actor, ethan hawk is an actor sir okay whatever ethan winters <laughs> that that that's how forgettable he is he, okay <laughs> ethan winters his name is ethan winters <laughs> His girl, his girlfriend, get lost, and somehow this broad ends up in a house full of like a fam, fam, family of cannibals, right? <laughs> um, and shit is scary. Like we don't know nothing about Ethan. We know nothing. What is this? What does this game add to the Resident Evil universe or the lore or this or how does it expand okay, what we know further know about Resident Evil? Okay, it does nothing for the story. Ethan is not an interesting character. We know nothing about him. Can we? Can we? Can we keep it a hundred though? What? And this is probably the only story-based game I say this about. 
Don't nobody give a fuck about the Resident Evil story, man. What? I don't know what's going you on none capping. of these. Let's be real. Really? You, you play it for the horror. I, who the fuck play is for the this shit? That's Cap. That's oh, Cap. Oh, man, you got the G-Virus and, put on the next then, game. You got the T-Virus. You got the V-Virus. What the fuck are we doing, bro? Don't nobody give a fuck about this shit, man. That's Cap. We just play this shit to get scared and no, and I, I, I I like Resident Evil story, Resident Evil story and and the and the lore and all the stuff they've been up all the way up to. No, wait a minute, oh, wait, go, wait, go wait, ahead, wait a minute. Okay, I feel like people don't play Resident Evil for the story. Um, I don't think the story is bad. Don't get me wrong either. I don't think it's bad, but I don't. I think a lot of people play it for the horror factor, and like two or whenever we did the last podcast of the year. For 2020, we were talking about what game was that? When well, you were saying that you don't Last care about stories, two. you don't care about stories, but now you do. That, oh, you remember that right? Uh, okay. I did not say that, man. But now I did not you exactly. Thank about you. Thank you. I feel like I you're just trying that, to be red your guy really hard for no reason. I, so, so, I, I, I did not say that, man. Crazy. Hey, Mocha. Hey, Mocha, this was crazy, right? PG don't care about story about the Last of oh, Us man. Part Two. But this goofy uh, motherfucker care about story Resident Evil. I, I never said Come that. Come on, dog. Come hey, on, hey, hey, dog. hey, hey, you're, you're, hey, Jack, you, your you're homie, Butch, is the weapon wheel historian, and he can go back and bring up the fact that I never said that. So you know you can. No, no, BG, you, BG you said, said I asked him. I they asked play BG what the name. Fuck a story. I'm BG. Da, 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 da. We, we already was going with you, bro. You ugly, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's fact. That's too, but look, you don't care about the story, but now you care about story Resident Evil. Make it make sense, BG. Listen, what I said was I play Last of Us mainly for the gameplay, but I deeply, yes, I care about the story a lot, but I mainly play it for the gameplay. It's the same thing with yeah, Resident Evil. Was- it's, the, it's, it's the same thing for Resident Evil, but the story is still important. No, now, I never said point, it wasn't. Hold on, let me, let me see something about Resident Evil, because I'm a huge fan. I love Six especially. <clears throat> but um, what I will say about the story is people at this point look, follow the story just to see how crazy it gets and how they can keep it up at this point that's what the, the story is a joke but people are following the story because the game got so ridiculous at this point that people just want to see how far capcom can go with it and keep it up even they make make jokes out of it now so resident evil is kind of like a jokeable story but people want to see how far they take it like wesca coming back and uh chris punching boulders and all the stupid stuff that goes on in this game so at this point with Ethan, they're trying to connect it with Chris and they want to see how Chris is connected this time by saying he may be a villain. So people are just following the story at this point just to see like what's going to happen crazy with this game because it just gets crazy and crazy as it goes. The, the only thing so, that Resident so Evil it, 7 did good was if, the horror. Go ahead, go ahead, Slow. Yeah, Would it be true I agree. if like the Resident Evil franchise has compelling characters but just kind of a blah story? So like people care about Jill, they care about Chris, they care about yep. Leon and Claire mm-hmm. and all of them and what happens to them. Who the but, fuck cares yeah. about Ethan? Yeah, who, yeah, exactly. So this is why this is why BG's upset because he's like, yo, I want to see the characters that I know. I don't give a fuck about Ethan. Who the fuck is he? Even if so he was new just... and they made him like interesting, that's fine. But like we don't know nothing about him. As far as we know, he's just two floating hands. <laughs> No, nah, they actually show you know him at one point, though. They do show him. They do you show him. You know I, I actually agree. I agree with that point, BG. There you go. Like, like, bro, I looked at an image of this nigga. Like, just as, like, he he just looks like um Alan Wake. I'm like, that's all okay, we know bro. about him. No, but he nah, got, he's he got, a new Mario. He's a new Mario. He's a new Mario. He's there to save the princess again. He got, um, he's a new he, Mario. He's, he's looking for a daughter in this game. You know, the first one, he's looking for his girlfriend or whatever. Now he looking for uh-huh. his daughter, man. Yeah, so my question is, what's my question is, what's wrong with this nigga? What you mean? What's wrong with him? He's trying to fight yeah. somebody. He's the new Mario. I just told you. How, how, how does your how does your how does your girlfriend get kidnapped by and then can, the- by a family of cannibals, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. and then your daughter gets kidnapped by a a, a, a family of, of vampire women? Who is this nigga? It- because this werewolf's posted up on the block like it's fucking like, bro. What you mean? Come now? on, man. You see the niggas outside? Come on, they, bro. They're gonna bring Chris in to explain it. Chris will explain it. Come on, bro. I like it. I mean, y'all making points, but I like the game. The yeah. they got out this that demo was whack. I, 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 I didn't play the demo for is it, is it the demo like a non-action demo, right? It's like a walking yeah. simulator? Yeah. It, yeah. It's a, it's, it, and here's, let's here's his thing, right? I, I will point out, I hate VR. This felt like a VR experience. The demo felt yeah, like did. a VR it experience. Did. It did. Because there's no, there's no combat, which is fine. 
right? Like I, I said, it felt like Outlast because, you know, there was no combat. They, there will be combat in the game. It'll probably be better than 7. But this felt like an Outlast experience. Um, they get the horror right. There, there, that's one thing, like it, the sound design, it was creepy. It was airy. It was uncomfortable. You felt helpless. I like that. But everything else besides the horror is like pretty mid. So I mean, if if what you want from a Resident Evil game is horror, they doing that right. If you if you hey, want anything hey, else, nah. Hey BG, people saying in the comments, if you were so enthralled with the story like you claim to be, you would know why he got why she got kidnapped. Okay, why she got kidnapped? <laughs> I thought she was for I'm gonna be real. You know, I'll be paying attention to RE stories. If somebody she got kidnapped. Okay, listen. I, I rem okay. I listen. I paid attention to the story. It's not that why she. It's it's just like okay. It, this this this, this, this letter, bro. No, no. This not a. It's, you don't think this is a reach? Like okay, his girlfriend gets no, kidnapped, not. then his daughter gets kidnapped by two different families, cannibals, bro, and then, it's not a reach. They're wanted people. What the fuck you mean? It's a reach, bro. Come on. If people want you dead, they are gonna do whatever it takes to kidnap you. And they're bro. not like these are upstanding citizens. Like I said, these are vampires. And you know what? The, I mean, what the fuck you expect from these people, man? Chris, Chris punching that boulder is way more realistic than somebody's girlfriend getting kidnapped by cannibals and then their daughter by vampire bitches. Okay. <laughs> what? Believable, man. What is going on, yo, bitch? Um, listen, man. It's... None of this shit is believable, man. The gameplay was mid. I listen. We we said that. Like you, you killed the same enemies like the whole game. It was there was no variety. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like that. I didn't like that about you said. I didn't like. And that. and the visuals took a step back. By the way, from like even like five, I fe I felt. Yeah. In in seven, yeah, it was it was it was, it was a VR game like you said. And then and then eight is gonna be cross gen. Wait 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 wait. Did you just say RE seven look worse than five? I believe so. Yeah, I don't like the I don't like the. You know, you know, we, we got this hot take going on today, man. We, we like bro, RE, 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 RE seven doesn't even like visually. It does literally nothing, right? The, everything aside from the family, I don't remember the, what the family's name. Like, yeah, their their design looked looked very detailed, but the world and everything else, everything else besides <laughs> that family and the characters looked looked like a, a mid game, like visually. <laughs> Yo, ass in the comment section. That's, that's, bro, I'm just spitting facts. Listen, hey. listen, listen, listen. <laughs> hey, hey, Jack, Jack. They, they've, they've called me a madman for other things before, and looked what happened. Okay, right, they called. Right. I've right. been called a madman before. This is familiar territory to me. This ain't new to me. This is true to me. I be talking facts <laughs> out here. Talk to him. Talk to him. They, so they gonna see the light. Don't worry. I just be up here spitting facts and, and wait. And I be playing a long game, waiting for people to see the facts. They don't stop. So yeah. Um, I, listen, I just, I just like listen, listen. What, what did y'all, th what did y'all think about the demo? I'm gonna sit back. Oh, I thought it was too short. I thought it was too short for sure. Um, How long is it? What twenty minutes or something? Nah, not even 10, 10 to 15. 10, Fifteen if you really like just stretching it out. You know. It, it's it's scary because I watched my son play it. It was funny, but um, it it does what it needs to do. But I feel like it's more the same, and that's what I didn't like about it. It felt exactly like DLC for the for Resident Evil Seven, and I didn't like that. It didn't feel different. It felt exactly oh, like it, like what's the same. What's going on with you saying about these games too, man? It felt the same. Like what is it supposed to feel like? Right, because if it didn't feel the same, you'll be talking about how it was like, familiar. Oh, 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 no, it felt like no, 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 no. You know what it is? I'm, let me explain it. I'm glad you said that. You know how when you get a sequel, they improve the engine and they improve like slight little yeah. things about it. Yeah. It didn't feel like there was nothing improved on. Like it feels exactly like the same yep. thing. Like there's I, nothing I changed, I added on, on, improved, nothing. Any combat? Because I, I I redeemed the demo, but I, I'm keep it rough. There's no no, there's no combat. It's it's just a, it's just like you walking through the, you take off. You know, you, it's just you walking. It's honestly like it's it's a ten well, minute demo of you finding a key so and they, walking. They didn't, they didn't improve the walking mechanics. Well, we got to wait and see what they did with the you know with the actual combat, man. Yeah, that's what we need to see. But 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 uh, yeah, I I played it. My son played it. Like I said, I watched. It feels exactly the same. Like nothing, nothing was tweaked. And, and if you're keeping it real, you you know what Resident Evil Seven feels like. Resident Evil Seven feels like Six was an absolute failure. And, and here's the thing: I think that game actually made a lot of money. I think it sold really well, right? It was but a good I, game. Yeah, Six was a, such a bad game that we don't want to spend too much money 
on the sequel. So let's put this thing in first person and let's and let's make it take place for the most part in one house. You gonna go outside for the other half of the game, and outside is gonna look like some generic area. Like there, there's, yeah, there's nothing. Yeah, like yeah, the game yeah, looks. Yeah. Resident yeah. Evil Seven is a budget game. Let's keep it real. That game is on. That game was on a tight budget. That's what it yeah, feel like. You know, What's funny about RE7 is the fact that they tried to change it up because people was complaining other games was like not scary no more. They, like they tried to revert back to being scary and then they tried to switch up at the same time. And y'all still didn't fuck with this. What they gonna do, man? What they nah, gonna but BG do? made a good point. It feels cheap. That first person feels like it was cheap. It feels cheap. I, go, yeah, I didn't think I was gonna money. like RE7. I ended up, I ended up really liking it though. It's not a it, bad it does feel it has like a cheap feel to it. I agree with that. Uh so slow mo, you played the demo? I I started the demo and I got distracted because I wasn't really caring and then I turned it off. So look, I, I'm not a Resident Evil dude, so I don't really care about Resident Evil like that anyway. Uh, I figured, hey, look, there's a demo. Let me try it. It, it didn't really uh, draw me in. Um, I'm not going to get Resident Evil Village either. Like, I'm just I'm just not that guy for Resident Evil. Like, I actually liked uh, Resident Evil 3 remake and most people hated it. Fire. Like, that game was, was all right. That game um, was whack. <laughs> if anything about this entire uh, presentation, I was wondering why this wasn't just a blog post or a tweet um, and why they had to do a 15-minute presentation mm-hmm. where 50% of it was them trying to sell me collector's editions and, and get me to pre-order before even showing the gameplay. What the hell are y'all doing? Uh, RE-verse, I don't care about that. That, that looked... That looked super mid. Crash. And, I'm, and <laughs> look, I, I'm a big Division fan, but what the fuck is this collaboration with Resident Evil with these ugly... Look, they had to put the names of the Resident Evil characters in the pictures to let you know who they were. Yeah. They look nothing like them. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? When And when most of the Division community wants to know whether you're even doing a Division 3, whether you get any more content for Division 2, but instead of that, you're getting some, some stupid-ass Resident Evil skins. Come on, man. And, and let I me hope, say the this. whole thing just just pissed me off. <laughs> yeah. and, Go ahead, and, man. And let me say this that uh with regarding Resident Evil multiplayer, right? Resident Evil multiplayer in five actually worked. Like they had a competitive multiplayer where you know it was, it was PvP and it actually did work. It wasn't like amazing, but it, it worked very well. It was actually fun, right? The reason like all these other attempts for Resident Evil multiplayer hasn't worked is is not because it can't work. There's like nothing special that that you know about resident evil that would make it so hard to to make it into a multiplayer it's like they haven't been getting the right studios to do it they've been doing it in-house clearly like capcom ain't like necessarily the best or most skilled at making some pvp game that's not their like history and that's not that's not what they're skilled at right and then when they have outsourced it they've gave gave it gave it to like the worst studios possible, like Slant Six. Right. Yeah, I remember Slant Six. Like they Didn't were they so bad. Game? Yes, they they made they 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 Sony's outsourced SOCOM for them to make it, and that that was trash too. And they're closed down now because all they made is trash multiplayers. So Capcom be cheap. They don't want to give it to well, like a real studio who knows how to make a, a good multiplayer. Yeah, that yeah. evolved kind of multiplayer thing they had they had attached to Resident Evil Three, absolute garbage. I think. It was yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It didn't make sense though. Like it's it was some asymmetrical dumb shit. Like who the fuck when they think about Resident Evil think yeah I want to be a fucking hacker and hack the computers and mm-hmm. like it was all this tactical shit. Yeah, like what the fuck is this Resident Evil setting up traps like it's Home Alone? Like yeah, nobody want to do that shit, bro. Like you wasn't really shooting shit for real. That like, was supposed just... to that was supposed to bring you back to the outbreak day. Because that was like a cult uh, favorite game back in the day when PS2 first got internet. Uh, Resident Evil Outbreak and Outbreak 2 was something that only like a small group of Resident Evil fans liked. I was one of them, of course. But um, it was supposed to be a nod to that. And even I thought it was a bad attempt. But it was really, it was that's really what they were trying to do. Yeah, it was bad, I'll admit. But that's what they were trying to get at. They tried to bring that back and, and correct it, but it didn't work. And I, I, heard, uh, I heard they like shrunk down the characters. To make it like look right in multiplayer in um in, in this new one in, in our reverse, I heard they shrunk down the characters because I think when you look at the gameplay, like they, all the characters look like they're four feet high. Because when you look at the ceilings, yeah. it's like yeah, it look off. It is something weird. I never knew that's what it was, but something did look weird. I, I ain't, not ain't play at this point, yo. Ain't nobody gonna play this shit, man. They just did. I, I don't know how you come up off of RE Resistance, which nobody fucking played. The shit was boring. Mm-hmm. 
It was a flop. And you, then you do it again. And it look, it look even worse. Like, what are y'all doing, bro? But, you know, it's probably so soon since that other one that this attempt was already in development. And they were yeah. just like, well, I, I mean, I, like, we yeah. already spent money, you know, getting people to develop this. And why waste the money? We might as well just go ahead and release it. But, yeah, yeah I agree. Fine. Like, after this, this needs to be, like, just uh, save done, your resources done. for the actual stuff about Resident Evil that people want to actually play, like the main story campaign stuff. Like this multiplayer thing needs to it needs to die. Damn, but Damn. we want we want a proper Resident Evil online experience. Those of us that like, yeah, it from we want that. We want that. They got to keep trying to get it know. right. They know, but uh, hey, um. Yeah, I, hey, uh, I'm buying, let me just say I am buying Resident Evil 8 uh, or Village Day 1 because I'm going to look at it as, you know, I think if you look at that game as just a horror game, don't necessarily think of it as Resident Evil. You completely remove Resident Evil and you just look at it as a horror game similar to Outlast, but they give you guns in some capacity or wep- weapons in some capacity, then it's then it's, it'll probably be enjoyable. I, I, I do think I'll be enjoy, enjoyed in that way. I do gotta ask you a question though, BG. Cause like when you was like live tweeting during the event, and it just seemed like I don't know if you played RE seven or not for real. Cause like I remember they showed like the guard nigga I live streamed like, it. Like, did you? Cause I, I can't. Yeah. But just think, I can't tell right because like they brought up the guard and block button. He was like they adding guard and block. I'm like bro, that was insane. the game was like, forgettable, bro, bro. That I, I, I lied to you, bro. I remember yeah, virtually, but you like really forgot. Bro, How do you I forget re- it was a block button, my bro. Like, bro, the game was extremely forgettable. I remember virtually nothing about that game. The oh, old because it's because I think it's still on my channel. People people see it. <laughs> people saw it. They, they'll tell you I live streamed it. Listen, the only thing I remember about that game, right, is like you. I remember you get a shotgun at some point, and I shotgun my way through a cave. I remember going up in some attic and there being some bitch there. Uh, I remember uh, the, the the cannibals at the table. What did they did they chop your hand off and eat it? Something I don't remember nothing else. Yo, that yo, and what I I know I got bad memory, but I remember games that I like relatively. Like even if I relatively like the game, I remember I remember nothing about this game, dog. It's completely forgettable. Down to the the combat. Everything forgettable. Can we quit calling all the female characters bitches? Thank Ain't you. that crazy? Like, <laughs> like please, that's like your second time doing it. Who? Who was that bitches? BG. You. BG. Hey, if I ain't know anybody, I don't think BG's done for uh, what you call him? I don't know, man. Hey, BG got to do better. That's crazy. Mm. Listen, I, I call men. I, <laughs> hold on, Mocha. I call men bitches too. Does that make it better? What man, you call a bitch. Me. You I call, call you a bitch. Not really. I call you a bitch, Jack. I call you a bitch. <laughs> Not really. You call me daddy, nigga. Watch your fucking mouth. Yeah. All right. Watch your mouth. All right. Watch your mouth, nigga. Watch your fucking mouth, be. All right. My bad. The stream lagging yeah. a little bit. Uh, my connection buckling. Yep. It's, it's mine is too. Yeah. I, I lowered the bit rate. Hopefully that fix it. Hopefully. Oh, you got this. Oh, is this a Mike Mike gameplay? This dude's a bum. I, I I don't know who it is, but he a way better Last of Us player than you. I can tell you that. He uses listening mode. He uses listening mode. I, I don't nigga, know. Nigga, I don't I don't care what mode he listened to, nigga. You he all better right, than you. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's I mean, if all, all the walls are made, if all the walls are translucent for me, I'd probably be alright too. I guess, huh? Yeah, uh, <laughs> You can know where everything you coming from. I don't good, give a fuck. That nigga, could, that nigga could use listen mode, smelling mode. He better than you, nigga. Oh, That's all he, I know. He can, in your, in your words, he can be a bitch and you will still. <laughs> yes. Hey, man. Yeah. That's on y'all need to play some more charted, man. I'm good, dog. Oh, man. I'm stream fucking up. What's going on, BG? I don't know, man. I honestly don't. Uh, I'm hoping it stabilizes. My, my, my internet kind of trash. I'm just, I just got to admit it. That's crazy. Welcome to the club, man. BG. Who you got, Comcast? Uh, I got, I got, I got a uh, Optimum. I gotta get the fuck up out of, up out of here with Optimum, bro. I can't wait to be get get out of here. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's. I think it's stabilizing, so we should be good. All right, we are we done with Resident Evil talk? Well, Resident Evil Eight Village talk for now. Everybody good? Yes. Yeah. 
Yes. Okay. I'm good. Um, next thing. Uh, I mean, let's just get right into, I guess, the Xbox Live Gold situation. So, mm. Mike. Microsoft announces Xbox Live. I'm doing this from the top of my head. Xbox Live Gold price price changes. Right, one month goes from was it nine ninety nine to ten ninety nine? I think uh, three months goes uh, to fifteen ninety nine. I think it was no t- no. Let me open twenty nine. Twenty nine. Yeah, twenty nine. Let me open this shit up because I got terrible memory. We know this. Uh, let me open it up. Uh yeah, so and then and then the six month went to fifty nine ninety nine, which was the biggest problem and caused most of the backlash because you used to be able to get uh twelve months for fifty ninety nine. Now you are gonna get half of that. So yeah, there was speculation that Microsoft was gonna make Xbox Live gold free months ago. That's what a lot of Xbox dudes were speculating that you know they were saying the you know the signs were written on the it was on the tea leaves and you know it was written all over the walls that this was this was going to happen they're going to go free and it was going to be for the goodwill of, of the gamer and being all pro consumer they said nigga <laughs> nigga no um we we doubling that shit on you and uh i got some conspiracy th- theories about this i'm not i'm usually not the guy to go for conspiracy theories but i got some on this and then no like about 12 hours later they backtracked and uh went back on on the on the uh pricing changes saying that we messed up we apologize and they also finally took down the paywall for free to play games so they mm. so xbox gamers ended up in a better situation technically than they did before what are y'all thoughts on this go first cuz i know y'all going to like argue for hours um, <laughs> bonnie here yeah. i want to say First of all, I do think um, kudos to them for falling back on it after they um, got backlash. It shows that, you know, they care to some extent. However, that still doesn't fully satisfy me because I still have questions on why they would do that in the first place or try to do that in the first place. Like what kind of reaction were they expecting? You know, some kind of torn on the whole ordeal. But, yeah, that's kind of where I am. Okay, uh, let me tell you my conspiracy theory real quick, right? Okay. So, please don't I believe... We, we, know, we all know what it was. We all know what it is. I oh, believe, here we go. right, that I believe they I believe they knew that there was going to be backlash. I mean, it's a oh, pricing right. change. When, when, is there not, when is there never backlash from a pricing change, right? They, they knew that. That's number one. They knew that. But I think they weren't sure about how bad the backlash would be and how much people would how, how people would be outspoken about it. No, they, they definitely sure. knew. I, I don't know if they knew like how bad it would be, right? So the, I think they wanted to te- do a temp a temperature mm-hmm. check and test the, and test the mm-hmm. waters because because if people if they saw that oh you know the reaction ain't too bad, we gonna keep it right. But if it's really bad, we gonna reverse it and. Because because what makes me think that is like, okay, they reversed it and at, they conveniently decided to make uh, free-to-play games actually free-to-play now? That, that was too, that's, too, that's too convenient. That's too coincidental. Here's a problem with your theory, right? They already started sending retailers the six-months cards, the updated six-months card, and started pulling a 12-months card. Yeah. So that alone costs money. Um, they got it. And two, the reason why they announced the free to play because the free to play thing was going to be a change anyway. That was just going to be announced later, but because of all the backlash, they had to throw it in. That's why it's not the update didn't go live to immediately do that. They just said we are doing it and they're working on it to send the update so that it can't happen. But as of today, if you try to play a free to play on live uh, without Xbox Live Gold, it's not going to work because the update didn't go live yet. They just confirmed that cool. they. We'll do that. Um, to answer Mocha's question, why is uh, technically Xbox Live, in terms of the way I guess most of its users, it did not increase. They got rid of the discount for longer terms because the met- the metrics that they're moving forward with, with, like Game Pass, is really all based off monthly growth. 
and you can't do that with everybody doing 12 month subscriptions and stuff like that because that that doesn't really show uh the growth so what they did was got rid of the discounted version which is the 12 months because technically xbox live has been it's technically ten dollars a month or some or some shit like that um and if you did that over the course of a year which believe it or not a lot of people do they're paying 120 dollars a year it's those people like me back in the day who used to buy the you know up front for a year and getting the discount so what they did was they got rid of the discount and offered the six months option pretty much defaulting everyone to you know the choice of hey i'm either gonna pay for this monthly or i might as well just go to game pass ultimate because it's cheaper so it was the the move was to get everyone on a one to get everybody to game pass ultimate because it's cheaper they they wanted to see them to perceive that value and two for those who didn't want to go to game pass they'll just get a bigger uh, you know return on the um xbox live uh gold subscription and uh yeah, and it was how wait, wait, is smooth. Game Pass Ultimate cheaper. That's fifteen dollars a month. It comes it's out cheaper for the fact that it, you, you get, get both. More, you get, get both more with it. Can, yeah, can, can, can you get two subscriptions it? for one. Can call it one of your All right. I mean, if yeah, I but I mean, one. yeah, but that's that's only cheaper if you actually want those things. If well, you yeah. don't want those well, that's things, a, then you just don't care. You're just paying more money. The, but the thing is, how they see it is that majority of their users are paying. For Xbox Live at at the monthly rate, so what they're it's telling me, really? I, are you sure that, most that they, they, are they uh, Microsoft is a, doing the, they're the, a the database? Year? Yeah, I mean, I know uh, us. Again, Microsoft is a database company. They go, they make decisions based off the numbers. Remember when we were talking about this, like when Game Pass was first coming around, about how sustainable this thing is for how cheap it is. Do you think that has anything to do with this move? But uh, but Game Pass being sustainable, I don't think it has nothing to do with oh. like making Game Pass sustainable. I just say hey, it's they're trying to get more people to convert their subscriptions. That's why right now, if you buy an Xbox Live card right now and you have Game Pass, the first thing it does is ask you to convert, and it gives you all this extra time to for Game Pass Ultimate that you and you next next thing you know, you don't have to pay for Game Pass until like 2022, 2023. I, I did the same thing on Christmas. Got an Xbox Live card for sixty dollars to twelve months. I got it handed to me for Christmas. I traded it to my cousin for his fifty dollar gift card because I was like, I don't, I don't need it. I'm good on Game Pass, and he activated it, and he got damn near uh, fifteen months of Game Pass Ultimate. Look, let me say this, right? Yeah. Check this out. Just listen to me. The only reason Microsoft still makes consoles at all is because that's the only platform they could charge for Xbox Live Gold, right? That's the only reason the consoles exist. Because if they take the consoles mm-hmm. out the market, they're missing out on roughly, uh, I know for a fact, over $2 billion a year, maybe even more than that, right? And that's the only place they was charging at first to play free-to-play games. And if you look at Xbox top play games, it was shit like Fortnite. It was shit like, you know, the Call of Duty Warzone. So that was the only place they was finessing $60 for a motherfucker to play a free-to-play game, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's the first thing, okay? Secondly, I'm not a business major, but if you tell me you drop $8 billion for an acquisition, then you tell me you teaming up with EA, the biggest third-party developer, to put all their games in Game Pass, you know, additionally, what the fuck you think they were getting it? You know, they got the money, granted, but they mm-hmm. ain't in the bill for losing money. They might be at, at the at the beginning. I done well, had games. I had Game Pass for 18 months, and I spent less than, I think, $4 of my real money, right? You can't get away. Like I said, I'm not a business major, but if you're giving away, they was pretty much giving away fucking game. You could buy a fucking toaster strudels and get, like, a, a lifetime supply of shit, right? So That's why I asked how sustainable it is. Why, but, but, but why not increase the price of Game Pass, then? Because they did, they, just, did it. No, they did they, increase they, they the increased. price of Game Pass on PC. They did. Well, well, no, oh, yeah. PT has been in beta, so that increase was standard. It was in beta. Yeah, 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 it was yeah, in beta for this whole yeah, entire yeah. time, and now with the um, yeah. uh, with the EA Access thing, that only makes sense. Okay, yeah, but this is the thing. This is what you're not catching, right? Mm-hmm. Now, they knew people was going to be outraged by this shit, but they was like, you know, fuck it, we got niggas like Kids Move and Tim Dog sucking our dicks on the timeline. They going to love it, right? So, <laughs> really, really, I think I think the, the outrage by, you know, us regular Joe Schmoes kind of talk to them a little bit but i saw like official twitter accounts like a lot of these free-to-play business partners they got they was tweeting out okay it costs this much per year to play on these platforms but they was like they was like roasting xbox right so a lot, yeah, of people, they, 
a lot of people they in bed with was really on their ass for real, right? Yeah, and you know, if, it, if they on that like social media, you can just imagine how they are behind closed doors, right? So the shit wasn't looking good for them. Phil and the boys over there, Team Green, pulled out. And uh, the price of Game Pass will increase very soon. Y'all be on the lookout for that. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. also, this was a move, like Smooth said. This was trying to finesse people. Get your ass off Xbox Live Gold. Because first of all, there's no reason for that shit to exist anymore. It's the same shit as fucking Game Pass. They should have just merged it to begin with. So mm-hmm. it, it, it's fuckery, bro. Yeah, it, it, was, it, was, it was stupid as shit. Like, it was like... It was a... <laughs> wrong move wrong time i i I feel like i i just don't understand how that got through given all this the stuff they be talking about like you know gamers at the center of our goals during a uh, a pandemic gamers are united you can't believe any of that stuff's moving yeah but i know i understand that but the thing is that was a, such a contradictory to of what they're saying at least if you're doing all the pr talk you got you got to obviously at some point you you got to put on a front to make it believable and for the most part they do this was the uh the trip up so no i mean i wasn't i wasn't for it i mean i i was under belief that the xbox live go was going uh, they were was going to get abolished so the fact that i, <laughs> I seen in the it officially get announced that is uh pretty much uh, increasing with no changes, no enhancement, no incentive to even like to make the service better because the service is, has has been on a decline for for a hot minute, and um, it, it was just unacceptable. So, so it, do you with, with this right? Do you believe them doing this the, the initially the price hike mm-hmm. was to get people to convert to uh, ex, uh game game pass? Do you think that's one of the main goals? Yeah, you know why? I'll tell you this. I work in the apartment industry, right? Latin, if I have an inventory, let's say I have an inventory of, uh, you know, one bedrooms and two bedrooms, and I need to get rid of my two bedrooms, right? Uh, the last thing I want to do is decrease how much I can get for my two bedrooms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the price of my one bedrooms to make my two bedrooms look more attractive. Mm-hmm. This is it, it is business one one. Everybody so, does it, but that is the move. They have Game Pass. Game Pass is more promising. For them, it's, show, it's showing them the routes they want to see. But the only thing is, it's like, yo, we got all these stagnated accounts that haven't converted yet. How so, do we do this? So, yeah, but see, like, but, but the move to allow people who already have Xbox Live Gold mm-hmm. to just still continue on with the same price and not actually have that, that higher price affect them kind of tells me that it really wasn't about i mean yeah of course it's about getting more people onto game pass but i think they were looking more towards their new gamers that they may have gotten through the launch of the new consoles and less so the people who were already in because they they knew the backlash was going to happen they knew like anytime you increase the price of anything there's going to be a backlash it's probably part of the reason why Dudes like Aaron Greenberg and Phil Spencer and, and all the other executives that are all over Twitter wouldn't retweeting it and, and, and talking it up or trying to give you that PR speak. They knew what was going to happen. Now, hmm. I think this is more about that they planned on getting a bunch of people into Game Pass with the launch of the Series S and X, and they've been selling those out. But then they haven't seen the increase in Game Pass subs that they wanted. And then they're seeing it was a 70% conversion rate, though. That, that was the first thing I announced with, during the first month of the launch. It was a 70% conversion. That the people who were buying consoles were uh, subscribing to Game Pass. Okay, so 70% are maybe they wanted it a higher percentage. I don't know. But all, all I know is like when you say all new, all new subscribers got to pay 120, you're targeting people who are getting, who aren't, don't already own an Xbox. Man, they was targeting. Don't Those already are- have an Xbox Live. You're targeting the new customer. The yeah, ignorant, yeah, the, yeah, and not o- not only the new customer, but the ignorant customer, because exactly, mo- exactly, the, right, most exactly. most most people who get their consoles, I mean, this situation is a little bit, little bit different because of the low supply. But most people who get their consoles, you know, day one, month one, are the hardcore who know everything that's happening, right? So the person who who you know buys it months later, they don't they're not they don't know about the pricing change and all that. You know, they just probably think that's just the price. The when other they, thing, I, they- go ahead. I was like, wouldn't they benefit more if the person didn't know about Game Pass? Because, like, if you wouldn't give me $60 for six months and we ain't got to give you, you know, you know what I mean? I don't know. It seemed like they'd benefit more from that. And, and look, look, somebody pointed out, because in my video when I talked about this, <clears throat> I said because because they stated that 
if you currently already subscribed to get to uh, Xbox Live, the pricing doesn't affect you, right? So I yeah. said, okay, simple solution. The loop, the loophole around this is people buy up a whole bunch of uh, um, you know uh, live stack cards, up, stack up, stack yeah. up and then re- redeem all of them. You could redeem. Yep. I don't. I know yeah. on PlayStation, I think you could redeem like maybe ten years into the future or something like that. I don't remember the exact yeah. number. I think even on Xbox is even farther. Right. Yeah. So just it's and like, then, no, so it's like two or three years, I think. I think. Okay. Once so you get to like that, then it's, it's, it's there's the cutoff. Yeah. yeah they so start just recommending you to give it to somebody. Yeah. Exactly. So just yeah. re- <laughs> buy the cards at at the low price now, and then the pricing doesn't affect you until the foreseeable future. But somebody, yeah. you know, th- you could say this is another conspiracy theory. But somebody in my comment section pointed out that's exactly the mouse trap. So either way, they're making money because they're forcing you to buy more cards now. And then they're gonna get people on the other end. So either way, it, it like it hikes up the money that they get. So I, yeah, I it's don't. Yeah, it's a it's a boost to the um income. Yeah, it's it's yeah. a trap either way. So they so, they're gonna see some kind of increase in money. Yeah, no, yeah, no matter what happens. So well, my uh, my let me say this real quick. Um, people kind of should have known this was happening when you saw the EA thing happen. Now Xbox is currently trying to get other subscriptions. So yeah, people, people, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that that's coming out, we can say all of these things. But now here's the thing: people gotta expect this. Like like Jack said, it's gonna come. Game Pass or Live or something's gonna go up anyway. Yeah. It's coming. They let us know. They gave us like a heads up with this. This is like, hey, we're gonna take it back now, but y'all know it's coming. So they're gonna wrap it up in a bowl, give you a bunch of subscriptions, like cable, TV. And they're gonna raise the price. It's coming regardless. They have to do it. I yeah. mean, when you consider, all right, this is how I look at it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, when you look, when you look at all the like the subscriptions on average, right? We spend like more on games than movies, right? Game the gaming gaming costs more than watching movies, right? Mm-hmm. So in translation, gaming subscriptions should likely be more than like movie subscriptions. I think there is an actual cap that exists for like game pass of how much now i don't think this is going to happen in the, uh, the immediate future of it hitting this price but i think the cap for like a game pass that could go where it's sort of like that you can charge without it we, you can still consider it of like a good value is like uh 30 dollars a month mm. if you if you if, if you think about it because i mean Think about the cost of the average game. How often do you buy games on a monthly basis? Yeah, like how yeah. Games you buy monthly, and, and you you think about that. Look, we're, we're, right now we're we're all of our Netflix accounts is going up to what seventeen ninety nine on um, yeah, yeah. on February twenty fourth. And, and is Netflix the only one we're paying for? No, we're paying for HBO. We're paying for Stars. We're paying for Hulu and Prime. All this other. So it's like, I mean, there is is a cap there. I do. I'm not gonna. It won't surprise me when Game Pass go up. I know it's gonna go up. It has to go up. Yeah. Um, the, the, that's why they're getting they're getting all this stuff now, all their studios now. And once Netflix were able to produce their originals, of course their prices had to go up because they no longer need third party movie makers to uh, to beg to get their movies in their service. They got enough content now to self. I'm not going to say financially self sustain, but sustain Netflix service on its original content. So I mean, yeah, I do expect Game Pass to go up at some point. I'm not going to that. I won't get mad at because that's just common sense the xbox yeah. live is a problem because it i don't see xbox live is is, is valuable to me mm-hmm. increased it with zero benefits whatsoever there's nothing about the actual service change yeah, value, yeah. you're still getting trash games on a monthly basis and you're just getting you know and, and then b- before they made the change you're still having to u- needing to yeah. use it in order to play free-to-play games so yeah it's just it was just a bad move all the way around. Now, now smooth to your point, yeah, of course, it's going to have to go up at some point because the, the amount of money they're putting into these 23 different studios they got, as well as uh, paying money to third-party developers and publishers to get their games into Game Pass, you're not getting the money out of that when a lot of people are on $1 deals or they're paying 10 to 15 bucks. Now, they still... As you mentioned, Netflix, Netflix increasing their price, but Netflix also is dropping. I think they there was an announcement I saw a few weeks ago where they're going to have a movie coming out like once a week for the for the entire year. Yeah, and and this has got like big name actors like Ryan Reynolds and The Rock and and shit in it. So it's like it's not like you know. Yeah, they probably, they probably trash movies anyway, but they still got big actors, right? But the thing now, is, my bad, my bad. Go ahead. But, but no, what I'm saying is that 
Microsoft can't increase that price anytime soon because yeah, yeah. they don't have the content until they can actually, you know, actually go for something like that. So we're looking at like what 2023. Yeah. Where yeah. they can actually do that. And if they're trying to increase double the price, I mean, not even like a little small increase. Remember when they went up 10 bucks and people freaked out? This is double the price. Mm-hmm. If you're doubling the price now in 2020, like what's really going on behind the scenes with the the financials that you won't show nobody? Yeah, I don't. I don't think the they weren't hurting for that money though. They yeah, definitely weren't hurting for it. Optic wise, obviously to us, like you know, I don't. Technically, the price for for most people wasn't increasing based on how uh, some people uh, do their subscriptions. Like I've always tried to tell my friends, like, yo, stop paying monthly. You're overpaying for it, you know, because um, they will, they were always paying 120 a year. Whereas me, I will hold out and get go to CD Keys or whatever and get the shit for like 30. You know, oh, I, I mean, yeah. that, that's a little that's a little yeah. bit anecdotal though, Smooth. Because yeah. like I don't know anyone. That pays you, monthly. You like, don't. I you don't know anybody know who has their, that, 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 that plays. You that don't know plays anyone it. who has their PayPal or their credit card connected to their account, and it just takes it monthly. You don't no, know. Anybody. No, no. Uh, I, I know people who had had it set up where it's an annual charge. Mm-hmm. Now they 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 don't remember when they signed up, but they just realized that at some point, oh yeah, Xbox took out sixty bucks again. But that's that's how they got it set up. It's always set up annually. I don't know anyone that does it monthly. Yeah, that's I weird mean, to me. I mean, just, you just look at it just like... I, I would why, love why to see those I numbers. That? I would love to see those numbers directly from Microsoft, like, you know, how many people subscribe to each one, because you would, like, to us, it makes sense for uh, to us, like, comments as, yo, just, just take the 60 one time. I don't got to re- worry about it for the rest of the year, right? Rather than death right. by a thousand stabs, you know, once once a month and you do say it's not a lot of money you save by a yearly subscription but you save some so i thought like it would be common sense that like most people would do that i don't know anybody who does like a monthly you know, with, subscription with like for PSN gaming and either. xbox live you definitely, you definitely save a lot yeah right so uh yeah. but um you know it, it does make me question like yo like if if Game Pass is this, you know, this hot commodity that everybody's uh, subbed to and, you know, everybody's screaming about it from the mountaintops and, you know, uh, worshiping, it, worshiping it and everything like that. Why would you risk, you know, the goodwill of your fan base, you know, just to like kind of kind of con- uh, this extra effort to convert people, you know, by doubling the price? Right. And then there's the conversation of like, you know, people were having, OK, well, wh- who whose decision exactly was this? You know, people like no, nah, it was it couldn't be Phil. No, nah, Phil wouldn't do this. You know, it's the higher it's people above Phil. You know, like no, no. <laughs> oh, I don't know. man, I, I tell you, people talk like they know Phil personally. Like <laughs> Phil would never, Phil would never do that to me. Me and Phil, I, I, I last time I talked to Phil, like no, you, you never talked to Phil. You don't know what he would do. Like <laughs> homeboy, this is his job. Like you, you are a you are a customer in his place of business. He's gonna tell you what you want to hear. 90% of the time, but then do what he need to do to keep his job. Now, whose decision was it? I don't even care whose decision was. I'll, he He's the head of Xbox. He got to own it regardless. Mm-hmm. So it, it is what it is. Like, I mean, this is the reason why, and I appreciate him coming out, apologizing for, you know, like, and saying, hey, we got to do better. I'm like, cool, cool. Uh, I still don't forget that, which I tried to pull, but I appreciate them being this agile with the change. And, and reverting back and then also doing something they should have did years ago, which is have the, the free-to-play paywall drop. But, yeah, he, he had to come out and say that because it's on him. Any mistakes they make, even if it was like he had no idea what was going on, it was a rogue operation by some, some dickhead. In the <laughs> Hold on, look. <laughs> he still got to own it. It's still on him because he runs the shit. Hey, this yeah, Slomo bring up a good point right now. A couple of years ago, anytime something bad happened with Xbox, people would blame Phil. People would say, "Well, you can't technically blame Phil because he answers to Terry Myerson, and if he doesn't <laughs> want it to go through, it doesn't matter, right?" <laughs> but guess right. what, y'all? Terry Myerson ain't there no more. Guess who got his job? Phil Fathead Spencer. So anything that happens now, <laughs> Phil is literally the head of Xbox. He put Mister Booty in his position. Okay, he told Booty to back his ass on up to where he used to be at. Right. So if Phil do some. There's nobody above him besides, I think, the person that fucking owned Microsoft, right? So any bad news coming by way of Microsoft, blame no one, none other than Phil. Juggernaut Head Spencer, all right? Y'all got to stop capping for this dude, bro. 
It's this been seven, man. eight years. He did, did nothing but disappoint and sadden y'all motherfuckers for, you know, the better part of a decade. He did what it is, man. <laughs> hey, man, it's... Uh, well, we got to pay it if we want those good subscriptions. We got yeah. to pay it. Sooner or later, we got to pay it. Yeah, it is. I see a lot of people always give him so much credit for like the 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 consumer friendly good decisions that he makes. You gotta you gotta also put lay it on his head when they make a bad decision. You can't yeah, and choose. yeah, because like not because now and then it was the conversation when they reverted it. Is like okay, you know, it's like my my I thought back to you know my parents. You know, my parents are. You know, kind of like those real old school Caribbean parents. You get a if you get an A on on a test, my parents will be like, you know, okay, what you want? Like, you're not getting rewarded for what you're supposed to do. So, you know, like, does does this apply in in this situation? Because some people are like, give Microsoft credit, and I'm like, I get, I get, I think they deserve a small applause, but not like they did something bad that didn't something they did something bad then corrected it. Yeah, I just brought another good point though, yo. Yeah. Exactly. When they announced the change, people mm-hmm. like you can't blame Phil. But when they changed it back, they was like praise <laughs> Phil. Like I don't get it, bro. Like which one is? It? Yeah. What's going on with y'all guys? My bad, man. My bad. My, my bad. Oh shit! You gotta be happy that they did it though, because they did it quick. Yeah, they did. Yeah, it, that, that is true, and, and I can see a lot of other companies being like, "Yeah, we did it. Deal with it." Like they they wouldn't go back mm-hmm. on their decision until yeah, like they, they sold their financials and was like, damn. That's that see, that's the decision. thing I, I I don't get right. All right, I understand people be like, oh, we shouldn't like be we should still be mad that they attempted, but there is all these companies that say what they're gonna do. Y'all don't like it and they just keep it. Yep. Like like you know what I mean? I'm like, oh oh, I, I'm I'm more of a, the shock that all right they reversed it. Not only that, they did, did do something quickly. else and one, and they did it quickly all but within you know what, four hours. I mean, like, come on, how many companies is gonna do that? You know, you know, you know what though, smooth. The reason they did that, all the other companies you think about, if Chick Fil A did some shit like this, Nike, um, mm-hmm. Apple, uh, Netflix, Disney, they can get away with it because they got name record, uh, you know, uh, name recognition, and they got you know brand loyalists, right? Mm-hmm. Yo, Xbox fans won't even buy their games, right? They don't want to buy the game. So you so really they have less reason to you to, re- no, seriously. You really think a motherfucker finna sit around and you telling me I got to spend double for no games? Like, no, nigga, I'm gone. I'm out of here. <laughs> if I could build a PC, a lot of people ain't gonna build a PC, but if you're telling me I can get the same experience and better for mm-hmm. less money if I put in the more money up front, I think they go on the PC route. And then yeah. were you online at that? Yeah, a lot of people told me about that. I feel like they depend heavily on being like the more affordable option. So if they lose that, they really have yeah. nothing left to stand on. That's fast. That's, that's the bigger lesson in this is get a PC, honestly. That, that is the bigger lesson. And uh Jack, who who you preaching to? You we still waiting on you to get a, a, a desktop. Man, uh, my nephew getting gaming PCs, man. They made my nephew gonna come in day. He's like, Uncle, I got something to tell you. I'm becoming a terrorist. I'm like, bro, you get one. Thing, <laughs> Damn, bro. This shit crazy, man. But seriously, like, even with them reverting this, that still doesn't make anything safe for the future. You still need a PC. Like, even just as an option. Even if you have an Xbox, you know, having a PC as an option is 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 just great. And and then the conversation turned to somehow, some way, right? I don't know how this happened. This went from Xbox doubling the price of xbox live to the conversation being about 70 dollar playstation games like uh, it's happened like this you know was the th- this was the biggest what it like what about ism like that i've ever seen like i'm like nobody wants playstation games to be 70 dollars, but that's a different conversation and i'm like How no there, there was def- there was definitely a lot more damage control and understanding for that though who the yep. fuck PlayStation games be seventy dollars. There, you had even a lot of the media people were saying, "Well, technically, games were supposed to be seventy dollars back when the PS4 yeah. and Xbox yeah, One came yeah, out." So yeah. we're, we're past due for this. So it was hit, definitely let, a lot more. Hold on, let me tell you why that's different. Even Blazer. you guys said you hold were. Hold on, Blazer. Hold no, on, wait, 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 let, me, let me tell you why it's you, different. You and Jack Moose said seventy dollars was okay as well. No, I didn't. I, I, I said. No, I, I, I said. Go ahead, Jack. Go ahead. No, I what I what I said was I'll get over it. I mean, I ain't got no choice at this point. But I definitely wasn't agreeing with. I will never agree to pay more for game the same. No, bro, I'm not doing that. 
And now, I, did, I did say I did say I want this man up and pay this shit. I did say that. I, you know. Listen, I said I said for for any for a game I want, I'm honestly willing to pay pay whatever, right? I don't I don't I don't want to pay more, but a game that I really want, mm. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna pay it, right? And that's why even in my video I said with with uh with this this uh this charge, this price hike. I said people have to decide if Xbox Live is just worth it to you. If it is, then then you'll pay it, right? I I don't I didn't necessarily I wouldn't shame anybody if Microsoft didn't revert it. I wouldn't shame nobody for paying one twenty a year because if you if if it's worth it to you, then it's worth it to you. Like I paid seventy dollars nah, for nah, I paid yeah. I paid seventy dollars for Demon Souls. Hey, Demon Souls is it's, it's a game worth it for me, bro. And and the, the reason why this is different, right, is because there is nothing that Microsoft or Sony, there's nothing that they are giving you that you don't already have, but they're still charging you. You already have an internet connection. There's nothing they're giving you, right? You're not paying. There's nothing that you're giving them money for other than they they've they've figured out a way to charge you for something that you're that you're not actually getting. Like they're charging us for online when our ISPs are actually doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like we're paying we're paying for the game. We're not paying for anything. Like that, we're actually yes. getting with PlayStation Plus or Xbox Live. We already this, have internet. This is, issue, this is my issue about this whole seventy dollars thing. First of all, I don't agree with that price, but you know, like I said, it is what it is at this point. But if we being real about shit, Sony is not the one that introduced no fucking seventy dollars price point. The first game that got announced with a seventy dollars price point was NBA Two K Twenty One. And nobody, nobody. But be, an eye about that shit, so I don't know. I mean, behind the scenes, we know we heard that Sony wanted to go beyond seventy dollars, and it looked like they did, that they is did, true. They did say that dumb ass shit. They did say that dumb ass shit. They did. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm just saying, though, if we, I don't really put this on Sony. I mean, they definitely not. They definitely part of the problem. If we want to call it a problem, they definitely part of the problem. But they ain't the ones that started this shit, man. Okay. Uh, uh, my thing is, I, I think okay, Sony okay, definitely. Okay. Mocha got to talk, Mocha. Mocha. Okay, I was going to say, I feel like you really can't compare $70 versus $120. A $10 price hike is nothing compared to a 50% price hike. But at the same time, I do get it. I mean, $60 is $60. $70 is almost $100. But I feel like that was reasonable because games are starting to cost more to make. Consoles are getting bigger. They're looking more like PCs now, like with the size and everything. So... If you're getting more, as long as you're giving me my money's worth, I don't mind paying the extra ten dollars for a game. I feel like that wasn't like that big of a deal because you're you're getting more, and you know, as long as the game is worth it. Yeah. So, D so Demon Souls was worth the the seventy dollars. Blanjo, <laughs> hold on, Blanjo. I'm, I'm Blanjo. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Is wait, wait. that hold game on. worth the extra seventy dollars? Blanjo, Blanjo, Blanjo. We are still paying sixty dollars for Mario Kart that came out like ten years ago. What are you talking about? I'm not. Though, that's that's still that's still standard price. I'm asking about Demon Souls and Eternal. Wait. Are those acceptable? ten years hold later? On, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. We all know we talking about Sony and Microsoft. We ain't finna act like the most consumer non-friendly company in the history of ever is Nintendo. You think they ain't licking they fucking chapped fucking lips right now <laughs> looking at these $70 games selling? Oh, they finna get us. They finna get us real bad. Wait till the Switch Pro drop. We finna get fucked. You think Nintendo ain't seeing this shit? Like, yeah, yeah, we getting a part of that. That's why I said Sony needs to be the one to stop this because Sony has a lot more defense behind them more than Microsoft or Nintendo. That's why I said there's no way that Microsoft would do this trying to get the media favor because they have they're at the very bottom of the totem pole when it pertains to gamers and media. They're just waiting for a chance to pounce on them at any chance. Sony, on the other hand, can basically get away with anything. No, listen, yeah. I said I said that in my video that listen. Behind, like, like all these PlayStation dudes that was, like, making fun of people and laughing. I'm like, listen, y'all don't think Sony waiting to jump on your ass next like a cheetah? They they ready, bro. Oh, yeah, what? if they would have went through, yeah. You know, with... Oh, absolutely. Sony would have, maybe. That's, it, that's PS... PlayStation games are going hard on it, too, though. Yeah, may, maybe PlayStation, PlayStation Plus wouldn't have went up to 120. They they might have tried 80, 80 a year, though. They, they definitely would have done 90. something. Yeah, so, 80 or Sony's... 90, and, and they still would have looked better than Microsoft because they would have been 30, like $30, $40 cheaper than them. It, it, it would have been, they, they were 
probably already planning on doing that as soon as that that announcement came out. But of course, you know they they went back. Yeah. They Yo, listen, now. they're all predatory. Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo—they're all predatory in different ways. All of them. Right. Ninten- Nintendo won't yeah. lower their prices at all, ever, no matter what game it is. That shit could be selling one copy. It's still gonna be sixty dollars. You know, that's, PlayStation. That's, that's dishonest. Super Mario. Oh. Super Mario Odyssey is forty dollars right now. Oh, ho, ho. Nigga, they they'll, they'll only lower their price if show. people don't buy it. That's it's the only way they're gonna lower their price. Sale, man. Bro, isn't Arm still sixty dollars? Oh, that's no. Shit. I think I think it's forty bucks. Anyway, they're all gonna do it. They're they're all gonna do it is the point. Like nobody like I don't think any one of these companies is like consumer friendly. I hate when people give them that any one of them that label consumer friendly. I'm like, they're not your friend. Stop this. Like even stuff that they do that seems like it's for the gamer, no, it's just so you spend more money. That's all it is. Bro, even if they even if they giving you a break on the front end, they just trying to figure out how to fuck you over in the back end. Don't get it twisted, man. All this shit is about making money, dog. If you ain't paying up, you're no use to them, all right? It's just what it is at that point. So uh, this was, yeah, this was another 180 that my, that Microsoft did. They did one. They did a 180 last generation. This was their 180 for this generation. Love to That's see what it. it. What was their 180 like? Was it Connect or something? Or yeah. it's the 2013 shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, man. I'm, I'm, hey. Well, it, it it was Connect and then the DRM thing. It was. Mm, yeah. okay. y- y'all be glad Microsoft didn't listen to all them uh, white dudes with beards on Twitter that uh, that Game Pass is the best deal in gaming, crowd. Because y'all would have been, hey yo, I'm it, is the, it is the best deal in gaming. Yeah, uh, yeah, but for it to be the best deal in gaming, y'all was gonna have to sacrifice something else, though. <laughs> you best believe that. Shit. Hey, because hey yo, t- 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 I, I just, sometimes I just can't. Go ahead, my bad, BG. No, I was gonna say because to- listen, Tony be making some corny jokes, you know. I, you know, it, I, some of his joints. I, I think a lot of Tony's joints be misses, but I, he had a hit. Like sometimes Tony he said that uh, he pretty much said that Microsoft figured out a way for for niggas to pay for that Bethesda deal one way or another. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, we good? I'm like, he uh, might have something. There. I think we. Okay, all- I, thought, I, thought, I thought I thought that was just me. Okay. Somebody hit BG Internet just now. Oh yeah, I didn't hear nothing. Uh, hey, somebody, hit, somebody hit somebody hit your internet. That was crazy. Yeah, word. Y'all, y'all hear me? You good, bro? Yeah, yeah. yeah it was yeah. just straight silence for like ten mm-hmm. seconds. Oh, I, I, say, yeah. I was like, damn, did I fuck up? What's going on? Nah, mm-hmm. I was just say, I was just saying that Tony that Tony said that uh pretty much Xbox Microsoft figured out a way to make y'all pay for that Bethesda deal one way or another. <laughs> That's facts. That's facts. Yeah, they want that money. Um, I think um, my only thing is that I always bring it up is that I, I just don't like how hard some like, you know, these PlayStation guys be going knowing they're literally had free online multiplayer on every game once upon a time. And they said, well, because of Microsoft. Like, come on now. All right, if, if because of Microsoft, well, we, you, I mean, where you think they, where you think they got the, they got that idea from? I mean, come on, I, I mean well, they what well, the thing is, Xbox Live cost money before PlayStation Network was free. That's true. Hey, so, I got hey, hey Small, I got a question for you too. We have to yeah. get off your tirade. Oh, and the other tirade is just the fact that, you know, um, right now, you know, Cloud Saves, which is essential to gaming, is still locked behind the payout wall on Nintendo and PlayStation platforms. So, Unless you use a uh, flash drive. But, uh, yeah, so look, right? Well, you said Cloud Saves, so yeah, you're right. Um, let me ask you a question. Let me ask everybody a question, right? Because mm-hmm. uh, what, when they do eventually increase the price of Game Pass, what, would, in your mm-hmm. opinion, is an acceptable price for mm-hmm. Game Pass to be? To where you would pay it to be like I'm cool with that. Uh, it 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 depends. So right right now the, the the price that it is is now. But I think I mean if things supposed to pan out how we expect them to pan out, um, I would say in 2023, uh, like what what are we at now? I, I expect them to go up maybe three or four dollars potentially a year to get, to eventually get to that's, that. That's, that's it. No, to eventually get to that twenty nine ninety nine mark, I think, um, uh, like the next increase, like I would say maybe, maybe twenty bucks. What twenty bucks? Or twenty bucks a month? You saying twenty bucks a month? Uh, twenty bucks, um, not now, but like I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. By, like I would say twenty bucks. I I can see myself paying twenty dollars, uh, for Game Pass. You no, know, if they're going to be 
if all these studios and then you got Ubisoft and all of them coming through and all the yeah, I I, I wouldn't yeah, easy. I I pay twenty dollars, no problem. I, I think where they have it where they had it at right now, but they would just have to remove Xbox Live from the equation because yeah. that's just making it more expensive to play uh play online. But the game pass, I think it's more than worth it. Mm. Game Pass Ultimate, like fifteen dollars a month right now. Yeah, yes. I feel like it's already too high, considering <laughs> that yeah. all the games on there suck. Really? Ooh, speak on it, Queen. Speak on it as yeah. of now. Yeah, I mean, if you <laughs> make change and they, you know, they'll get better games. And at that point, I feel like they should increase. You know, but I mean, as of now, they need to decrease, and then you, you know, get, get that right first, and then we can go from there. That's like me saying Netflix is too expensive because I think all the movies on there suck. Hey, you would, you wouldn't be well, wrong. I mean, but that's, <laughs> that's all in the eye, <laughs> the eye of the beholder. It's all about yeah, you, what, you know what you value, and if she doesn't value any of the games, and it ain't worth it ain't worth a penny. Like I, I got Game Pass back in like what what year was it? Twenty eighteen when they first announced the whole. The whole uh, um, one dollar deal to convert your Xbox Live Gold to Ultimate already had like two years on live, so mm-hmm. mine expires this August. As of right now, I'm canceling it as soon as my dollar's up because I don't see a reason why to keep it. I'm not playing games on, through it on a monthly basis. I just don't see the value there right now. Now, once they're they're all their 23 studios start dropping games consistently. If those games are really quality and I really want to play them, then I'll subscribe again. And then maybe I could think of like a, a number that, you know, I'll be good with. The dollar was good. But that, that dollar went a long way. But after that dollar's up, I'm, I'm out. And I don't see a reason to be to come back. I mean, honestly, like Halo Infinite, may, I'm definitely playing it. But uh, <laughs> after that, like what else do you got coming? That's going straight to Game Pass that, that I really need to play. I, I mean, well, your Game Pass expires in August. I mean, so if, if we're saying if Halo is the major game for this holiday, I mean, then 20, I would say that would be, I think 2022 is when you would actually want a Game Pass account, if, if uh, just being being honest. But I agree with that. Yeah, probably 2022 when they get all their, like, like Fable should be coming out then and Avowed and something else from Bethesda and then then you're going to start getting that whole that whole idea they had when they told their investors they wanted to have a triple a game drop every quarter yeah which would be like four triple a games a year i'm like <laughs> that would be a huge difference from where they are right now then you have all those games launching in game pass day one okay that's a value especially if those games are really good but until then yeah, it's not. It's not even. I don't even think it's worth the. I agree with most. I don't even think it's worth the price it is right now with the mm-hmm. the current games that they're putting in it. Exactly, and I'm not saying there's like no good games on there. Like, yeah, you you know you find you know a couple gems, but man, like you gotta scroll forever. Like, <laughs> I shouldn't like be scrolling through. I feel like when you go shop in like at Ross or something, you know those stores, you gotta dig through all the racks looking for a good shirt. I feel like Game Pass is like that. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Like shopping at Marshalls or something. Yeah, they, and I they gotta like do better. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I, I just feel like it should have more quality games. So I mean, I, I can't complain. I, I beat a fair amount of games and I'm um, Game Pass, and I feel like if I could beat, if I'm beating more than one game in Game Pass, it it gets my we, value because that's those those are games that didn't have can to. Can we get a quick list of that one? Can we get like a a, a little what? rundown of some Shit, of the games? It? It's, it's how. <laughs> I, it's, that's how I became in second place with games beat. I, mean, I, I just want to. I, I just want if you could run down maybe five to ten. If you got a quick list, you could run down of the, the bangers I, you've been playing I, through. I, I, I never said they were bangers, bro. I said, <laughs> oh, okay, well, can you, can you run down a little? Just real quick, man. Humor me, man. What's going on? All right, look, give me, give me, give me, give me. Oh, boy. yeah, we finna, we finna hear some we, some fire. Trying to get out of here on time. Hold on, I gotta um, pull up what I did. I, I do I do get what Smooth is saying in the way that like okay like net like let's say like Netflix got movies that you know you wouldn't pay for these but you know some people would watch them just because they're on Netflix and like let's say maybe it, it would be fifteen dollars for you to watch that movie but you're paying fifteen dollars uh, a month uh, and you know so you already I mean, got your value from one movie but I I I can honestly say. I'm not one of those people who really watches or plays something that I wouldn't play otherwise just because it's cheaper. The fact that it's cheaper, I'm still not going to play. Same here, same here. 
I but got that list. Wait, wait, wait. That list pretty jack move when you're ready. Oh, no, yeah. I was gonna say that's literally the 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 point of subscription services, though. If you just wanted to buy, you know, one or two, you would buy an a la carte if that's what you really wanted. Yeah. You're 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 buying the subscription in hopes that they get, you know, a couple of content. Yeah, yeah, a couple of sleeper hits or some shit you you might have not found otherwise. But what's the list move? All right, a Plague's Tale, uh, okay. Streets of Rage Four, okay, um, Minecraft Dungeons, Halo Reach, the uh, the, the remaster, Battletoads, Tell Me Why, New Super, Super Lucky's Tale, which is low key lit. Um, mm, I heard that. Yeah, you gotta check it out. Um, uh, where was it? it was, uh, uh, Call of the Sea, um, and. Uh, Gear Five Hive Busters. So, I'm gonna keep, so I'm gonna keep it real with you, smooth. That list is way better than I thought it was gonna be. Thank, thank you. So, like, listen to me. Game Pass is for people. It's for people who like to settle. That's what it's like. It's for, people who, it's, it's for people who, when it comes to gaming, if you're okay with settling, that's what Game Pass is. Because I don't care. Like, I don't care if this game was a dollar. If I if I wasn't gonna pay for it before, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to play it just because it's a dollar now. Like, that's not a motivation for me. Like, oh, it, it's a dollar. Okay, but it's still garbage. But I'm a, like, no, that, that doesn't. That's why Game Pass, for me personally, has no value. If you have lower standards, you know, like some other people, like, you know, if you, you know, like Game Pass is, is it, you know, they're like, hey, well, I'll show you a good time for $5. And niggas are like, okay, I'll take that. You know, a little, a little, a cheap look, they're, they're they're taking home a a, a, a prostitute, a, you know, cheap prostitute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Damn. G- game Pass is a Game Pass is a cheap prostitute, bro. He just equated Game Pass to buying some. Hey, yo, that's that's what it is. That's what it is, bro. I think the prostitute thing is kind of far, but I mean, what you originally said about you know settling and playing a game that you usually wouldn't play. I agree. I feel like it depends on what type of gaming you are. If you prefer to just play a bunch of random games, um, then yeah, Game Pass is right up your alley. You got a bunch of random stuff to choose from. But if you just don't want to play a bunch of... I, I, uh, I think that analogy is on point. Uh, because my, I even okay. disagree with that because I play a bunch of random games. I, I played. I beat 41 games last year. And in those 41 games, very few of them were in Game Pass. A lot of them weren't like your typical popular games either. I'm calling it mid pass. See what? I'm calling it mid pass. I I see where y'all going. <laughs> well, I mean, f- for the most part, yeah. I mean, or and, and here's the other thing though: there are good games in Game Pass that people can look at, go through the list, and you'll see really good yeah, games. Course. The problem yeah. is for me is that I've already played them because I'm the kind of person that if I want to play a game, and as soon as it comes out, I'm going to go grab it, spend whatever <laughs> I got, spend on it, and play it. And then it shows up in Game Pass like three or four months later. And, and they'll be like all on Twitter announcing, hey, hey, we got control in Game Pass. I'm like, yeah, but I, I, I played and beat control already. So I don't care that it's in Game Pass now. You see what well, I mean? Was, it's like, right, that was a point I was going to get at um, real quick. That's kind of one of the things that Game Pass is good for that they haven't been doing lately, getting some good multiplats as well. You know, yeah, like, but the thing is, you got to understand where Game Pass is. Part, so... At one point before I uh, became before gaming became affordable for me as an, an adult, right. like Game Pass would have been clutch for me because yeah. I would always used to get games mad late. Yeah. Like, and, and then there's still games that come out that I'm like ho hum about that I'm not like, ah, I don't know if I play this. Uh, like, for example, where I had the urge to try to buy Hitman, I was like, yo, I'm gonna regret this. I was like, but if that thing come to Game Pass in about four months, uh, I'll give it a try. It'll be worth the try. Cheap at that point, <laughs> wait, wait. I just saw a super chat say that Game Pass is like the five dollar Walmart bin DVD bin, and that's the perfect, perfect way to put it. Like you dig through that bullshit for like thirty minutes, and then you be like, "Oh shit, you yeah. Wall Street," you know. But you had to dig through a bunch of garbage. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's kind of true. That's kind of true. Hey, no, I'm, I'm not garbage. sure. There's some things I've never re- would find in a uh, Walmart bin that I found in like Game Pass. So, like, like what? Like what? Smooth. Like for oh, like for example, like I mean, I mean, is like let me get let, hold on, let me stop it, stop it. <clears throat> Like what? Um, Nobody's saying anything. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Like, for what? example, like for example, Red Dead Redemption Two. It, like when that came in the Game Pass, it wasn't in no bargain bin at that point, bro. It was. Like, it was. Yeah, but, but everyone yeah, that was, that who wanted to play Resident Evil Two, I mean, I was like, Resident, uh, Red Dead Two had already played it. 
that's true too. But but it was still an incentive for people who just brought the consoles. But he's making my point. That's what I was saying. They it it used to be like that. Game Pass had a moment when you could get some good triple A's in there. Yeah. And they gotta get back on that. They gotta get back on that. So uh I think we can uh, move on now. It's a lot of game pass talk, a few other topics mm-hmm. you know, we need to hit on. Um I got a couple years of it. So real quick, uh, there is this website called Colorware. I'm going to bring it up on screen. Hold on. Um, that if you want to get a uh, a custom PlayStation, a custom DualSense controller, or even an Xbox controller, because you know a lot of people don't like the uh, the white um, DualSense controller, like me, uh, because you know sweat, skin cells get all over this white controller. And it, it'd be getting dirty. You know, Jack says, you know, he, his is clean, you know, and I don't know how. My, hand, my hands don't sweat. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand the shaming behind that. Anybody that had an original Wii and Wii U and stuff like that, Ben knew this was going to be a problem before it even came out. That's no, why I, I can't believe they I, made the console wide. I know, I know people that get their palms get sweaty and shit like that, but I, I ain't never really had that issue. So. Yeah. So this website, Colorway, as you can see, yes, it is expensive, but... I got one, and let me tell you. How much it costs? Uh, it's about to be on screen. It's 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 at base. It's a hundred. Well, this one. Let me let me go to. Hold on, hold on. hundred. Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. You can get three chicken merch hoodies for a hundred. What the hell? But hold on, okay. By the way, this is not a uh, this is not a sponsorship. Of course, not no no sponsorship. I'm not sponsoring this. But look, the reason for me why this is worth it is because I'm not one of these weirdos who be buying six seven eight controllers in one generation because it's a because it's a different color like oh pink oh yellow you know all this i'm not one of those right and yes i am shaming you if you do that i buy like max three controllers in one generation and so if i have to pay a hundred dollars one time for a controller i'm fine with that because i'm gonna use it for the next seven eight years right so that's why to me it was worth it and anybody who i just wanted to you know let anybody know uh, who might be interested that this is out there. I pretty much went with the matte black everything. Um, let me just put this in. Yeah, I just made everything uh, matte black, and that's that's pretty much what I ordered, and I thought it looks, you know, pretty damn good, you know, because that's what I want. I hate I hate this, this, you, you white, already got this white color. BG, how long did it take to get it? I ordered it. It didn't, didn't get here yet. I ordered it uh, like maybe three days ago. I'm, I'm going to look at the quality. I'm going to look yeah. at the quality when you get uh, Yeah, I ordered yeah, it like I three days ago. To make it and give it to you. Um, Marquise Brown Lee, everybody knows him. He he bought he got one from them. I doubt he, I don't know if he bought it, but because you, you know people be sending him stuff. Uh, he no, said it was he's it. yeah he said it was really good. So I'm like, listen, I got to get one of these, and uh, I'll be good for the rest of the g- generation with one. Because yes, even black doesn't necessarily. It's not that black doesn't get dirty, but it hides dirt. You know that's the thing, and nobody wants to see their white controller dirty. So, like I said, they also about, got Xbox controllers. How is that happening? Like, like, no shade either. Do y'all like eat when y'all play the game? Maybe it's just my no. OCD. No, like, I don't. Just sweat. My, like, just, your hands, your hands are dirty. My door yeah, yeah, yeah. dirty. You just get dirt on your controller. The, and those grips don't help. All it does is just collect it. It's the same. It's the same thing with my um my white Series S controller and my DualSense controller. It's just it's just filthy. I have to get like a Clorox wipe to it. Yeah, and and, Pete, and yeah, then I mean, people look, get... like that's that's pretty cool, man. I, I like that. I, I always get like a, at least like one like different color kind of custom controller for for whatever platform I'm on. And yeah, I, I, I'll definitely jump on that. I don't, I don't know about that price though, but <laughs> I, I'll definitely uh I'll definitely jump on that. How much was it, DG? My bad. Uh, it's it's 110? it goes over a hundred pretty much. It goes over. Yeah, mine mine came mine okay. came to like one twenty nine. Cause look, people be like, "Oh, just wash yeah. your hands." People be like, "Oh, wash your hands." You know, I'm, I'm supposed to wash my hands every single time I'm about the game. Am, am I am I performing open heart surgery? Like, why am I washing my hands every single time I'm about the game? BG, like, this I, is I, just why are you running around with dirty hands? I, my hands not dirty. If you touch your controller and your controller brown afterwards, no. your hands well, you... no. That's over time. Yeah, that's that's... Yeah, Listen, first, natural oils on them. Exa- exactly. Let me break it down for y'all who didn't pay attention in health class. All right. There's skin cells, there's oils, there's sweat. All of that stuff comes off your hands. You could wash your hands. Skin cells are going to come off no matter what and rub off 
on something that's white. You you doesn't yeah. Matter it's how like when you uh, it. it's like when you rapidly rub your hands together, you're still gonna get like dirt and stuff I that come you out was of like, them. Else. Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you all right, man. Whew. Yes. So so that's why I decided to buy one. My hands ain't dirty. I'm I'm, I'm very clean. Did you get Did you get a uh, Did you get a case for your console or just the Do they only do controllers? They only do controllers. There's another company. Um, this was actually a topic. I guess I'll bring it up now. There's a there's because you know Sony shut down a whole bunch of companies that was making face plates. They threatened they them legally. Yeah, yeah, they threatened them legally. But apparently, this one. Uh, let me look at the name of it. This company uh, is making it, and apparently, they said they're doing it in a way that Sony can't touch them legally. Um, so I don't. I don't know. I, right now, they're still selling them. Why don't so, these companies just reach out and try to get that official license? And like, what's yeah. what's the issue? CMP shells. It's called CMP shells, and the, yeah, they're selling uh, custom PlayStation Five shells right now because um, apparently they did it in a way that Sony can't sue them or some. I don't know. Like, what do they do? Buy a bunch of PlayStations, paint them, and take them apart and sell them the parts? Like, how no, do they do it? I don't. I don't. Know. I don't. I don't know, man. But um, they're they're selling them right now. They're still in business as as of right now. They're, they found some way around. Well, why? Uh, I don't know. I, I guess Sony's I'm gonna not. be on the ass though. Why are people so horny to customize their systems? Like, I don't know, man. It's like I, I don't know. I don't care. Yeah, that I don't care so crash. much. I, I don't care so much about the uh, the PlayStation being white because the PlayStation <laughs> is sitting there. I'm not touching it, but I'm t- touching the controller. No. Uh, I don't. I don't like how that console looks. White desk brown too. BG. I mean, uh, Blanger, you you like Nintendo, bro? It's, it's, is not on no, no, I, I got my Xbox Series X, Series X stated tall and proud on my monitor, but I just you wild. Um, what else is oh, yeah, speaking of uh, going back to Game Pass, so. According to this report, Project Ma- Mara, you know that that uh, game being made by Ninja Theory, it yeah. all it takes place all in one single realistic apartment. Jack, what does that sound like to you? Does that sound like Game Pass fodder? Oh man, you hate to hear it, man. A passion people, project. Why are people capping for this on the timeline? I heard, man, what's going on? Listen, people, I mean, were, people, hold on, people were losing their mind over stairs and sinks. Mm. See, hold up, hold up, hold up. VG, you, you, you being wait, 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 like this. Wait, this is what we doing here. You, this is what not, we doing. Wait, wait, hold up. Dog. You being hold up. I, I should be the only person bashing Ninja Theory. Jack Move and BG, you guys were super like Ninja Theory fans. I, I, like Ninja right I like Ninja Theory. I like Ninja Theory. I love Ninja Theory. I, I don't, right. what I don't like yeah, is that this project. All of a sudden, you guys got all these bad shit. Like, we don't really people, know what it yeah, is. Are you tell are you telling me those r- rendered in engine stairs and sinks were not impressive to you? <laughs> Visually? How, how was that impressive, Smooth? They're sinks yeah. and stairs. I don't care. They're <laughs> sinks and stairs. <laughs> Bruh, it's just the fact that if they didn't tell you that it was a game, you would think it was just a picture of somebody's apartment. I mean, there's okay. been games, there's been photorealistic games before. What, bro, what cri- bro, cri- cri- bro, Crisis, Crisis is has been one of the best looking games for a long time, and that gameplay is not the greatest. I'm just saying, yeah, I'm just impressed visually. I don't know what the game's gonna be, but I'm just saying, visually. Oh, yeah, no, look, listen, visually, yeah, it looked it looked great, but I'm not losing my mind because uh, because of a realistic looking sink and a realistic realistic looking staircase. Like, what are we doing, bro? Really? Let's and, have our fucking moment though, like, cause nah, oh. nigga, like, because nah, because nah, people nah, because people would see like a JPEG or a PNG and and bust nuts half the fucking time, like mm. in, game, in render games, and oh, we're like, okay, the the roadmap, this is what we've been wanting to see progress. That's, that's not pro- that's not progress though, yo. <laughs> any look, 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 any this is this is the thing though, smooth with shit like that. Any ho hum dev with base knowledge of rendering and, and like unreal engine and shit like they could do this bro like mm-hmm. is this is not a, a indie developer could have sent out this same picture if unless you could put gameplay to that shit that's actually fun and exactly. immersive don't nobody exactly. give a fuck man listen we 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 should know the lesson like like listen i've 
I've always known this lesson, but people should know this lesson that y'all didn't y'all just get got. Y'all just got got by CDPR with what the gameplay they showed you four years ago and y'all learned that wasn't even real. And now y'all losing y'all mind over sinks and stairs because they look realistic. Like, when are y'all going to learn? And okay, this, the sinks and stairs look cool. Okay, what, is that, what does that do for it as a game? It just shows immersion. They're, they're, they're pretty much, what they're doing is they're breaking their... The, the I can't think of the word, man. The terms, they're, they're, I'm losing it right now. But anyway, it's it's Ninja Theory. It's a dev diary. They've been updating us on a, the game. They're showing you what tools that they're using and whatnot. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I'm not... It, it might be a walking sim. Who can't? Hey, man. I, I, it'll probably be one of those David Cage type why, games. Why are, we, why are we getting updates on this? Where the fuck is Hellblade 2? This is my <laughs> issue with these devs, right? Like, prove to me you can bring out one game at a time. Like, what is all this multiple project mm-hmm. shit? Like, what the Microsoft fuck need on, to man? crack that whip. All right, well, get well, back Hell in line. Hellblade Make well, Hellblade, Hellblade 2. Two probably further away because they got to use that, you know, that, that engine that all these PlayStation lovers like. You well, know, the other one is walking up and down steps in a, a, a apartment turning on water faucets. So it's probably not too far away from coming and, out. And, and, and let's not get it twisted. Me and Jack are big fans of Ninja Theory. Okay, I yes, I yes, I, yes, I bought I bought Hellblade day one, and I like the Thanks. game. But I'm not Thanks. I'm not with this hype in the game before I see it. You know what? I especially I'm very careful of. I'm very careful of anything called project. Okay, you know what that tells me? That they haven't they even made it into. And they they not haven't even made it into a game yet. Pro, you got to be careful. Anything called project. Be careful. Okay. I'm telling you. It means it's subject to a name change because they ain't sure of that shit. And also, if we being real, uh, Ninja Theory has released great games, but under Microsoft's tutelage, I know y'all don't want to take credit for, um, what's that bullshit called? Bleeding Edge? I know y'all don't want to take credit for Ble- Bleeding Edge, but under Microsoft's tutelage, the only thing they released is Bleeding Edge, and that didn't leave a, a good impression on nobody. So, but that uh, game was going to come out regardless. Yeah, sure, sure, sure it was, pal. But um, <laughs> they, need they need to show improve, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just, yeah. But look, I'm the red shirt guy, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm the cautious guy. I don't get hype over nothing that ain't solid. You know, I need more than sinks and stairs. You got to sh- you gotta show me concrete gameplay, and even then, I'm still cynical and skeptical of it because I'm the red shirt guy, and I'm smarter than everybody else. It is what it is. Mm. Okay, moving on. Um, reports are saying that this Sony... San Diego team is working on an existing Sony franchise. Oh my god. And of course the first thing people go to is Uncharted. Let me just say, <laughs> let me be the let me be the first person to say I don't want no more damn Uncharted games, okay? I don't want no mo Uncharted games. I'm tired of I don't even care if I'm not playing with Nathan Drake. People are like, "Oh, Lost Legacy 2." No. No, no, no. Um, we've had plenty of Uncharted games. We've we've had five. That's five. It's five of them, right? I'm I'm, I'm good. Yeah. Oh yeah, six with with the um, Vita game, right? I'm good, man. I don't. We don't well, need no hard, more. Yeah. We don't. We Look, yeah. We don't need no more, bro. It's it's okay. Y'all can leave stuff alone. They ended that. You know. You know. What? You know what other game I said that about though, BG? I said I ain't want no more God of War games if they weren't gonna do it right and motherfucking wearing pants and gattles. I, I ain't trying to play this shit right. <laughs> then we saw the game, my dick went through the goddamn ceiling. I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. I don't know what I'm talking about, right? So I ain't gonna say I don't want no more Uncharted games, man. I definitely think this is Uncharted because they got Quinn Cobb, uh, dick sucking ass over there. Uh, I don't know, man. The only way I would want this to be Uncharted is if it's like a whole bunch of like former Naughty Dog employees working on it. If not, they need to keep that shit where it's at, bro. I don't need that. It's also rumored to be SOCOM, too, though. You know that, right? This is a rumor, because uh, isn't Quentin Cobb a, a multiplayer dev? Oh. Yeah, he a multiplayer guy, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I just don't want it to be Uncharted, man, um, or anything. Like, people always want it to be the most popular thing, you know, like the most mainstream thing. Uh, I'm good, man. I'm good. All right on that, so... We'll see what it turns out to be, but yeah, let let Nathan Drake rest. Let 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 him chill. And by and that that trash movie got delayed till twenty twenty two. Also, that should, that joint should just not come out. The, the, if they do if they do bring back Uncharted, uh, Drake definitely can't be the main character. If you played Uncharted four, you know what I mean by that. Uh, yeah, they should move it to that person. 
I think so anyway. Yeah, but uh, would it, would it even just, really be like the same gameplay? With, with nah, it'll, 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 it'll just be Tomb Raider. It'll just be a better version of Tomb Raider at that point. Wait, what are we talking about? I just came back, sorry. I mean, but I mean, you know, sure. Lara's a mass oh, murderer right too, so. Yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah, I kind of feel like it would be like somewhat different gameplay, or maybe they would just kind of like transition it to, to Nadine. No, what about um, his daughter? He's still got his daughter, though. Man, we yeah, do I not want to... We do not want to play as his daughter. Like that would be so cliche. Yeah. She becomes a treasure hunter. Nah, you, know also, they, you know what they're gonna do though. You know what they're gonna do though. They're gonna they gonna age her up a little bit, make her a shack she. You know what they're gonna do. Oh niggas, <laughs> niggas, 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 niggas don't go for it. She's gonna be about 21. You know what I mean? We do not want to play as his daughter. We good. Not not me. I'm done with that. Yeah, it might it might hit different. Who knows, man? Uh, I would, oh, I would Blandrew, you might care about you might care about this. Uh, this this I don't even remember what this game looked like. Balan Wonderworld is getting a demo on PS5 mm. and next week. Trash. Yeah. yeah, it's about to be trash, but I'm gonna buy it day one. Just... I don't even to try. That was that. Make that a was video like... profit of it, like I did Sonic Forces. It was the uh, creator that made Knights. He's making a new game. Um. But you don't have a you talk about those uh, the Resident Evil. Wait, what's that? You don't have a PlayStation though. You're not gonna play this demo. Yeah, I do. Yeah, the yeah, demo on Xbox. It will be on Xbox as well. If it's Bylon Wonderworld, it should be on Xbox. No, as well. it's it, the, the demo's on everything. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Yeah. <clears throat> well, the game's trash anyway. Uh, I just thought I'd mention that. Yeah. How you know? Man, I, I'm a guy that day, plays dude. platformers. That's like my thing. It it doesn't look good. Game Pass fodder. All right. Um, that's another scalper group said they secured another two thousand PS fives. <laughs> they they said <laughs> they said it's actually getting easier to scalp these PS fives. It's, it's getting easier for them. That's that's what they claim. I don't know how you know how true this is, but. Yeah, yeah, yes, Brian Lobo. I, I don't do extensive research st on stuff I, I don't care about. Balan Word in the World is not worth me doing a deep dive and, you know, and doing journalistic research for. I'm sorry, it's not. It's, it's Balan Wonder World. What do I look like <clears throat> doing deep research for a game like that? I'm sorry. Not doing Come it. to my channel if you want to do that. That's what the fuck you look like. Do your not research. Fine. Not for stuff like that, but yeah, like yo, it's I, I thought like it would be honestly easier to get PlayStation fives and, and Xboxes, uh, in like May late January. I thought by this time, you know, it would be a little bit easier, bro. I tried, I tried to buy an Xbox, not because I wanted one, just to see if I could actually buy one. Can't do it. I was there, you know, you know, the minute pre-order, you know, uh, the minute the the Best Buy, you know, announces that they have them. You know, because I got all my Twitter notifications, so I'd be there instantly. I'd be there before. Refresh, refresh. Can't get them. Can't get not one. They, I'm still they, trying they to get way more frequently now. They restocking way more frequently now, though. Like a couple of times a day. I think what they should do, right? What they should do is, like, wait and gather up their stock. Because, like, it's like they're putting out, they're putting it up as soon as they get a little bit. And they're going instantly. So they should wait till they get a lot more. And then just and then just put them out there. That's just my thoughts. Or my my uh, theory on it was if they did a waiting list kind of thing, kind of like how EVGA does their GPUs, then people can kind of relax because you're you're going to be have a PlayStation Five or slash Xbox guaranteed for you. You just gonna have to wait for it to it, it, it to be your turn, but you're gonna get one instead of you're like waiting for a particular Twitter accounts to tweet out, "Hey, go live! They're, they're live now! Go for it! Run, run, run!" And then you still don't get it. Or that way, that way you still don't get scalpers taking them from you too. Or they can add a fucking captcha or multiple captchas to the checkout process so bots cannot buy them. That's why true. don't they do that's, that? That's what Best Buy does, but. Uh, they, somebody said they can hear you, uh, like the podcast in the background. I don't know if anybody's playing it out loud. Huh? I don't hear it. Yeah, I hear. I hear a bit of an echo. But uh, yeah. Uh, moving on, just a few more topics. Um, 
Battlefield 6 rumors. Uh, they said they're going Battlefield 6. Uh, apparently, they're going back to Battlefield 3, like, gameplay. And, uh, you know, 128. Oh, that's, that's is that Jimmy's mic? Yeah, that's Jimmy. Yeah, that, yeah, yo, Jimmy. Yeah. Uh, we can yeah. hear you. Got a, you got an echo for some reason. You're, you're playing it through the speakers or something. I'm not, though. Let me turn on the mic because it might be my headset yeah. echoing through the mic. Is it good now? Uh, yeah. Is it good? Okay, I, I think so. I think yeah, so. I still, my my, I, I, I still hear myself, though. Just me, just mute your mic for right now. Um, yeah, so it's gone. Yeah, it's gone now. Okay. So, yeah, Battlefield 6, they're returning to form. It's pretty much going to be just like Battlefield 3 um gameplay wise uh it's gonna be on ps it's gonna be cross gen it's gonna be on ps4 and xbox one uh as well as you know playstation 5 xbox series uh 128 players they're gonna have a battle royale but i'm just happy that that they're aiming for it to be more like battlefield 3 because in my opinion battlefield 3 is still like the last it's, it's still the last best battlefield that they released it's still better than you know one five um for all of that stuff so i'm i'm glad that they're that they're doing this i don't think anybody else is like really a fan of battlefield in here besides me yeah i don't care about battlefield bro <laughs> okay i'm gonna, <laughs> I'm, gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna be happy by myself i'm gonna high five myself i'm happy about it um <laughs> i'll be happy by myself yeah, it's myself. been a few years since Battlefield has been out, right? What was the last one? It was Battlefield One, right? Was that the last one? No, um, last one. I think Five or V. Yeah, it was Five. It was Five. It was it's five, been yeah. like what two or three years? Uh huh. Okay. Yep. Um, yep. It's been a couple of years because the last game they usually alternate with Star Wars, and since there was no Battlefront, I think they replaced Battlefront with the respawn game that one year so yeah they're they're behind which is expected because ea be getting lazy with their game development was well, it's definitely uh, going to be on that frostbite engine which is problematic for you know it seems like it's always been problematic for a lot of people even though dice made it and they know it better than the uh developers that have been forced to use it but uh, i know they've been kind of upgrading that to like a, a newer, more more uh, easy to use engine. So maybe they were waiting around for that to get completed before coming out with a new game. But you know, I don't know. Ho- hopefully, it's good. You know, if it's not good, I think it's really gonna. If, when you hit, take a a long hiatus and then you finally come back, but you're mid, <laughs> that takes a huge hit to the IP of the brand. So hopefully, it's really good. Okay. Um... Uh, re- re- is a rumor that Resident Evil 4 remake development has been overhauled. Now it's expected in 2023 when it was expected uh, to be released in 2022 uh, prior. And the reason is the studio that was working on it, um, the studio called M2, uh, their role in developing the game has been reduced. Um, and now the Resident Evil studio um, in the Capcom div- Capcom division who usually works on the game, they've like mostly taken it over and they're like gonna kind of overhaul it and move it in a new direction because they didn't like the way M2 was like, uh, was going with the game. They didn't like how they were, you know, heading with the remake. So now they're like taking over. So that's uh, pushed the game back a little bit because, you know, they didn't like the direction. Y'all know me. Uh, Y'all know how I feel about Resident Evil 4. So I need this game to be right. I'll know him. A... What'd you say? No, go ahead. No, I was gonna say the um the developers of RE3 remake were making uh the RE4 remake. So it sounds mm. it sounded like they gave it back to the people that was making RE2 remake. Mm. Makes sense, makes yeah, sense. Yeah, because three was bad. Yeah, thank God. Yeah, because of that the, 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 yeah. Yeah. The reception. Yay, more Resident Evil games. Like we need more of those. Yay, Capcom, Resident Evil. Yeah. Yeah. Watch watch your mouth when you talk about Resident Evil 4 or anything to do with it. Just relax. Yeah. Relax. I'm good on that. Capcom has so many good games. I'm I can't believe they only rely on Resident Evil, it seems. There you go. Hype about ghouls and goblins. Like they ain't got a thousand fucking monster hunter games coming out, yo. That's what I'm 
I'm saying That's Monster Hunter, cool. Resident Evil, and uh, what's that other one they keep making? Yeah, it's cool, but I would have preferred something else. Yeah, you want ghouls and goblins. Well, you're getting that. That other shit don't sell, yeah. though, yo. All right. Um, last two things, and uh, we can get out of here after I read the super chats. Uh, Vicarious Visions um, has merged with Blizzard, and there's a rumor that KOTOR... You know, Knights of the Old Republic, that was a Star Wars RPG that a lot of people loved back in the day. Apparently, uh, there's a new developer that is working on it. It's not EA. Um, there's a outside, there's a different studio working on it. It's not BioWare, not EA. They're not involved at all. Uh, so, yeah, there's a new KOTOR game. I never played this game, but I know it's, like, loved by a lot of people. So, good for them, I yep. guess. Yeah, uh, Kotar is one of my favorite games of all time. I'm happy that it's in development. I'm also happy that Bioware is not doing it because Bioware is not uh, the developer that they used to be. So if they were going to be doing it, I, it would the story would probably really suck. So um, me personally, I, I heard something about it, it is, I think the quote from Jason Schreier was, it's not who you think it is or it's like from like some small known a very very little known developer so i don't think it would be obsidian although i would wouldn't mind if if obsidian did this because they did the second one and the second one was was pretty good but uh i mean whoever it is just as long as it's not by where it's screwing it up i'm good okay. i i i hate to be that guy but i feel like you guys are going to be disappointed when it comes back what goes are yeah uh, i mean well i feel like that's the case with a, a lot of older games like whenever they try to go back to them and make a sequel to it it's just not it i mean it's possible it's they the, the problem part of the problem is that disney made the original first two games not canon so what are you doing with this exactly uh how does it like as far as the story goes match up with the, with the old republic which bioware is still doing i think and just like I, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some people who are aren't gonna like whatever changes Disney uh, approves of that are different from the original story because the original story was fucking awesome. So it's just like to any changes to that are gonna probably gonna piss some people off. But I mean, we'll see if it's a remake or it's a part three that continues it on. Who knows? But I'm I'm, I'm here for it. Yeah, and it's it's always hard to like match that feeling that you that you got from the original game because nostalgia makes you know that, that sickness. Ah, man. here we go. That sickness. Ah, yeah. I'm just I'm just saying, like nostalgia. You know, it it gases it. Nostalgia is almost like ecstasy. It really is. Like you know, like people. I, I've never taken ecstasy. Let me just say that I don't take drugs. Just say no, kids. But like from what people say. Ecstasy makes everything better. You sprinkle a little bit of ecstasy on it, it just makes everything you do better. Like normal things just make it better. And it's the same thing with nostalgia. Sprinkle a little bit of, bit, bit of nostalgia on your experience and it just makes it better. And you can never like recapture that high. That's, that's what it is. That's why you get like, when you get remakes for stuff or sequels 20 years later, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't, it don't hit the same. So I I can, I, hope- I can agree with that a bit. Yeah, I, this is why I really liked uh, why Final Fantasy VII Remake was like my favorite game of last year because it wasn't just a straight up remake with everything exactly the same of the original game. And if you played it, you kind of really know why they went where they went with it. And it was just a all by itself, not being a remake, a really really well done game. So like I that's kind of like what I would envision with Kotar if they have to change some things due to Disney saying we don't like the character Revan or we don't like the decisions that were made or where Bioware went the, went with the original story just if that's the case just remake the whole thing and start over at that point because I, I I don't want you to try to do some half ass part three based off of like basically working off of what was already done, but then you're retconning things that were already part of the first two. Just just start over at that point. Okay. All right. Um that's all uh that's all we got for today. Let me read these super chats. Uh all right. Mr. Heisenberg says, I think it's a cool idea for hit for Hitman would be 
instead of playing as the hitman, you play as the target and you need to find the hitman before he kills you. Interesting concept. Uh, Gideon says, Jimmy is a valuable member of Weapon Wheel. No one ever. Why do you, why do y'all, this is only Gideon hey, at this man, point doing this. Man, 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 every week, yo. Hey, he on Jimmy. He be on Jimmy's ass, man. Hey, Jimmy, you know, you know, nah, that's, hey. that's my singing man best friend. I know that. I already know who that is. I don't, I don't pay that no more. The, the hey, singing cat. Really, Jimmy, you got, you got to clap that nigga. I'm, I'm you know, he a fan. He a fan of Jimmy. He a fan of Jimmy. <laughs> you had to pull up in the black audience in there. This shit, <laughs> <laughs> shit, 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 shit is getting crazy. All right. Um, Yo, he's spending bread, though. I ain't, I ain't bad. That's, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Gideon also says, BG, we need to teach you the slander. We need, we need to teach you the definition of slander. A negative opinion is not slander. Listen, you know, a rap, we know the, the, the definition of slander, but over here, we use slander as anything negative. You say anything negative, it's slander. That's how we use it. We know what the word means, sir. Okay, but he says slander means to make false and damaging statements about someone or something. Uh, it, it must be factually false to be slander. Okay. All right, Mr. Mr. Dictionary. You got it, Chief. Forget Me Not says Resident Evil 8 looking better than RE2 remake. You bug it. All right, all right, <laughs> you bug bro. it. Resident Evil 8 looking better than RE2 remake where all you do is walk around zombies and shoot them sometimes. Jill and Claire are just jerk-off material for incels. Yay. Alex PSX says Bond not here on Xbox Slander Day. Was Bond kidnapped? Nah, he just said he's watching the game with his family. Uh, Baron J67 says just here to say bump Tom Brady and how they slow walked him and how they slow walked him to greatness straight trash. Yeah, I'm disappointed, man. Blaze 4K, you know Blaze is a he's a he's a Brady fan. Uh just kind of fraudulent because he's from Boston, so I understand why he was a Patriots fan, but now he's just a Brady fan, following you know, cheering him wherever he goes. He says, oh, you, you heard what he called a buck show? Oh, yeah, yeah, there, there, there you go. Now, you, I think oh, yeah. you're gonna read it. Oh, Tampa, Tampa Bay, Gronk, Gronkineers. Hey, he be killing me with this, shit, bro. There's something wrong with that dude, bro. I'd be so mad. I'm like, yo, you niggas had a hard time catching up to slow ass, old ass, washed Gronk, like. I'm like, how are y'all niggas trailing behind this, man? All right. Uh, Gideon says, Jimmy is that guy at work that doesn't do shit, but the boss owes him a favor, <laughs> so he'll never what be fired. Oh, what the fuck? oh, boy. Gian Gian the Don said, Raccoon City versus RE verse, which seems worse? <sighs> man. Oh, Raccoon City is really Raccoon bad. City. I, might play, I might play Raccoon City over there, though. I don't yeah. know, man. Uh, Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse says, "Props to Capcom for making women who aren't built like Machamp." <laughs> uh, Hustle Man nineteen eighty one says, "Weapon Wheel would never be the same without Jimmy." Oh wait, the last episode of twenty twenty proved that wrong. Ain't noticed he was gone for over an hour. If y'all, <sighs> yo, he repeated that again. He paid to repeat. The no, same. That, that's somebody else. That's Hustle Man. <laughs> that's Hustle Man. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Heisenberg said four horsemen mad that Abby's arms is bigger than his. Sheesh. Uh, Gideon says props, BG, Bond, Jack, Smooth, and Mocha. Good cast. Nickwood oh, Snake. Today, <laughs> Nickwood Snake <laughs> says uh, games for the N64 retailed for $70 to $80 back in the 90s. True. Uh, Tony Esquire. Rising cost of game development is the biggest myth since the rock not being on roids until dawn is longer better story and looks similar to hitman uh emmanuel a1 he says tony right up yeah that was a that was a random connection uh <laughs> jimmy you can, jimmy you can mute your mic real quick uh tony uh emmanuel a says tony right about mocha oh all right all right emmanuel huh? relax relax he did, he, I think he ain't like something that Mocha said about a game. Uh, right. Tony Will Tony Will's dude said Game Pass equals five dollar Walmart DVD bin. Yeah, we read that earlier. Um, Forget Me Not says so. Game Pass is really uh, broke nigga pass. <laughs> uh, 
CeeLo says gaming gaming should have stayed unaffordable for Kid Smooth with the bullshit he be playing. <laughs> uh, Tony Esquire says karma will strike the narcissistic greed of Sony and Microsoft just like it did to Blockbuster. PC and Nintendo will sit back like Biden. Easy W by default. Mm. I, don't think that's the, I don't think that's the same thing comparing Sony and Microsoft to Blockbuster. And DJ Capital, Smith, never know. yeah, DJ Smith said, "What about a new Uncharted multiplayer?" Nah, I'm good. I'll, I'll take I'll take factions too, which you know, Naughty Dog yeah, need to stop luck. playing and announce. <laughs> I'll take that. that. Uh, Alex PX PSX says, "Yay, more Mario games! Yay, Mario!" Yeah, more Mario games. I'm, I, yeah, I'm, I'm really going to be like, we, yo, we really going to be like 60 and there's going to be like a new Mario game out. Can you imagine yeah, that? Like we, like we 60 and new, there's new Mario games, bro. I mean, he the, he the Mickey Mouse of video games, yo. He ain't going nowhere. Mr. Oshido says, for Jack Move, one franchise got to go. Sly Cooper, God of War, The Last of Us. Pick, pick Sly. Go ahead and pick. Sly get. Cooper. Easy. easy. Okay, Sly okay. Because you be capping yeah, for that Cooper. game sometimes. Absolutely. Okay. Just wanted to make sure, you know. Want to make sure. All right, y'all. Man, come on, um, man. I, 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 the last one was a better game. Man. Wait, wait. Speaking of Sly Cooper, did you guys see that little insomniac war that was going on Twitter this past week? No. Oh. About insomniac yes. versus uh, what was that? CD Projekt Red. Yes. Which was the better uh, developer? Listen, I'm, I'm. I'm <laughs> insomniac got way more. Insomniac got way more games than CD Projekt Red. What the fuck? No, it was Sucker Punch. It was Sucker Punch. It was, it was Sucker, Sucker Punch. Punch. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. Sucker Punch versus, uh, sorry, Sucker CD, Punch CD versus Project Red. Um, CD Project Red. Shit, it's Sucker not. Punch got more games than CD Project Red, even though I don't exactly. like games. Exactly. They, right. they got more games, and all of their games launched in a proper state. Yeah, exactly. In a working state. So I, 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 yeah, not, I, personally, really fair. I personally don't see what the what the argument or the debate is about i don't see how you could say cdpr is a is a better studio than than sucker punch maybe before ghost of tsushima i would have entertained that but i don't see how you say that now but people who say that once again are they're giving they're giving the witcher they're giving the they're using witcher 3 as the whole entire witcher franchise that's how they that's how they look at the at the witcher franchise it's witcher 3 witcher 3 and witcher 3 and when they do that they'd be like oh yeah they're a be- they're the better developer y- y'all you can't give one game credit for a whole franchise that's not it's not how this shit works like if you judge each witcher game based on each witcher game there's no way you think you you, you think cdpr is this like goat developer they made one yeah, even Witcher game. fans. They don't play Witcher one and two. Ex- exactly. They made one amazing game. One, one, once again. Uh, so I don't understand y'all. They made one amazing game. Motherfuckers got to be in the industry, be like, be in the industry like 20, 20, 25 years. And y'all still won't give them credit. These niggas made one game and y'all, and y'all ready to give them the double handed Cobra, Cobra handed golf golf 3000. Like relax, bro. Yo. <laughs> I don't well, want to talk about I, that I no can't more. disagree. I mean, like I was arguing with, with people on Twitter, and I, I hate arguing with people on Twitter. But that, then, you know, I got people arguing with me about it. And I'm like, yo, all they keep bringing up is Witcher three, Witcher three, Witcher three. And I'm like, but what about Witcher two? What about that awful combat that made it almost unplayable? What about Witcher one? What about the fact that they've been lying to everybody with with uh, with Cyberpunk? Like the you can't Witcher, just base your entire like, mm. like I mean, well, there's, you're talking about a game that came out five years ago, and and saying that in 2021, this studio is better than this other studio just because of something they did five six years ago. But what about 2020? What about today, bro? Do you realize the Witcher franchise is the only game that when it's talk about people only talk about one entry of it, like. Yeah, that's, that's the that's only weird. That's, that's, the, weird. that's the only game. When people talk about GTAs, people have different favorites. Like, oh, San Andreas was fire. Oh, I like no, I like four. No, I like five. People have different favorite Uncharted games. People have different Battlefield uh, favorite games. It is The Witcher is the only franchise that has that. That's a trilogy, but people only talk about the third game. Just think about that. 
It's the, it's the mm. only game like that. That was, that's that, was, how, that was the hype beast game, yo. People didn't play no other exactly, like that. Exactly. Like, that's insane that all, people only talk about one game out of a trilogy. That, that should tell you something. I mean, tell y'all something. it was pretty much it was pre- pretty much like a PC only game before then. Though I kind of see why it's like that. Well, the two was on Xbox, but you know, motherfuckers weren't trying to play that shit for real. Uh, Black Baron uh, dropped a, a a super chat. Oh, Jay Barry did too. Hold on, hold on. Oh man, <laughs> shout out to my guy Baron. I be seeing him on AEW Dark, man. Shout out to my guy. Yeah, Baron doing his his. I, doing his thing. He's doing, doing his, his thing. thing. I mean, he playing his role. I, I can say that he's definitely playing his role on there. Um. Let me read uh, these new super chats real quick. If it freaking load, okay. Jay Bari said, "Kids move told me to pay him to play a game that he can play on Game Pass. Please kick his shins." <laughs> uh, <laughs> he also said, <laughs> "He also said, is he crazy? I'm, I'm, I gotta pay him to play a game in Game Pass." Uh, Baron said. Didn't one of you asinine Sony? Uh, you you know you got to read this. You got to you got to read this in Baron's voice. You, go. Yeah, you do it better than me, Jack. Though didn't didn't one of you Let asinine? S- yeah, can you read? You do it. Let me see here. Didn't one of you asinine Sony drone and fool <laughs> say Switch wasn't gonna be able to compete with PS Five and Xbox Series X? <laughs> Tom Lady ain't no goat. Ain't early 2021 <laughs> game of the year prediction. Monster Hunter Rise and RE3 lead. Yeah. Authentic. That was that was authentic. Oh man. Uh thank you for the super chat, Baron. And Alex PSX says, Baron, did you play God of War yet? You know he ain't playing. Baron the Lost Hate Call. Hey, shout out to you, Baron. Shout out to you. Appreciate it. Uh let's do these outros and get out of here. Um uh, Blandrew. Check out my channel. Good episode. Catch you guys later. All right, Jimmy. Yo, what's up, J Mega Games? I'm here. Everybody enjoy the rest of your evening and have a good week. Peace. Um, all right, slow mo. Yo, uh, yo, great show. Uh, great panel. Great chat. Uh, check me out on DPS Podcast on my channel, Slow Mo Backslap, Thursday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, as well as Scumcast, 4 p.m. Eastern on Saturday, and Brat, Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern. And uh, what's up? Oh, yeah, Tom Brady's a cheater, and anyone oh, who shit. stands for him is, uh, I don't know, you 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 like the guzzle of the grease. I, that's it. I'm out. All right. Uh, smooth. <sighs> See you guys next week. Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback of all time, but you know we already <laughs> knew that. Um, yeah, looking forward to seeing you guys next Sunday. <laughs> uh, I hope he loses in dramatic fashion. And Jack, man, good podcast this week, man. Check out the Weapon Wheel podcast on Patreon if you feel so inclined. Check me out: YouTube, Twitch, Twitter. Jiggy merch, Jack Move Johnny. And uh yeah, we out, people. Hey BG, you got two like two more super chats too. All right. <clears throat> uh hold on. Refreshing. Uh Mr. Well, Jazz Jeffers said Jimmy gets hit by Super Chat more than Godzilla did in that King Kong trailer. <laughs> and uh Mr. Osh- <laughs> Mr. Oshido says, is God of War the best PS3 slash three sixty game? with the best graphics for its generation? If not, what game is better and looks better than both? Looks better both consoles. Well, it's not on it's not on 360. I get what you mean. I think you mean that generation. Yeah, that generation. Uh, it's one um, of them. Definitely one of them. Yeah, it's one of them. Uh, that generation. God yeah. of War Ascension didn't look that bad graphically. It just had a different, it had a different, like, I guess, art style. Like, a little yeah. bit more realistic, I guess. Say Mass Effect Three look better. Uh, you I, might. I, I you, uh, what's is that? What, what should we call it? That um, that story. What's the what's the ones that make the story games? Um, ones that made Detroit. Uh, oh, uh, oh, you talking yeah, about Heavy Rain? Um, 
Well, n- the one that came out after Heavy Quantic Rain. Quantic Dream. Quantic Dream. Oh, yeah. Beyond Two Souls. Yeah, Beyond Two Souls. Beyond Two Souls. That, that looked oh, yeah, pretty good. Oh, yeah, that shit good. did look crazy on PS3. It, it yeah, did Beyond look pretty Souls good. did look good. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe maybe one of those. All right, y'all. Going to After Dark. We'll catch y'all.